Fly your fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Shadow Talks podcast. (laughs) This is really going to be the intro. I'm laughing through it all. I don't care. Pointless Um, tea. Yeah, pointless tea, Shadow Talks. We in here just ready to cut loose. I'm blaming everything on the liquor that happens on the show tonight. I'm not. um, I don't know if this is my show or Shay's show. It's It's all of our shows. Yeah, we have Light Skin Records in here who might jump in here and there to tell us to behave. (laughs) Manas, manas, manas. I have none. So... We're gonna jump right into it before the liquor settles all the way, and we want to talk about late some. For me. <laughs> well, I want to talk about some sensible things before we get to that point. I'm functional. Okay, so we always have this um, conversation about like angry black woman, and you know, women being considered as a bitch if she's assertive and she takes control in a workplace, mm-hmm. and just anything as far as being confident and you know, sure of herself. And I always find it that when a guy is doing that, like he's assertive and he's confident, he's considered as doing his job or a boss. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But when a woman does it, she's a bitch or she's angry or whatever the case is. As a woman in power, <laughs> how do you feel about that? It's sexist. Okay. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to do what I want to do at the end of the day, whether you think I'm a bitch or not. So however you feel about it, you're going to respect me at the end of the day. Okay. You can say whatever you want to say, though. Light Skin Records, how do you feel about this? As a boss, because you, you, I mean, you <laughs> as got fly your nation as a male in power. How do you feel Ask about this? the question this? again. Please. Okay, do you feel like, well, she says she thinks it's sexist, but do you ever see that when women are assertive and they're doing their job and they're confident in their work and they're projecting and all this stuff, that they're usually considered as being a bitch? However, when a guy does it, he's considered as just doing his job or he's a boss or a leader or something of that sort is that that's not a race thing so we're not no we're not talking about race so it's just male and female male and female Mm -hmm. um yeah i can see that but i think that's more for black women i think that's more for black women in the workplace i think it's all around but it hits black women harder yes because there's because it's the term the angry black woman. yes so i think it's more for black women yeah okay because from my personal experience I've had issues with that at work because I'll say something that literally my boss just said 10 minutes ago, my manager being a man, and I'll say the same exact thing and it comes off as, why is she so mean? Like, why is, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like people as a whole, whether it be male or female, because I get the same reaction from men and women. It's not like, you know, only men feel away, even though there are some guys like the person in shipping who <sighs> has an issue with every woman telling him something. But whenever the male boss tells him something, no pussy. it's a problem. Well, he lives with his parents and he's 50. He doesn't but, get any pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, even when I'm talking to the younger people who are, you know, male or female, it's the same thing. And it's not just from me. It's from the other women that are supervisors in the company that whenever they give instructions or anything it's taken with like a little bit of like they're taken aback when they receive the information but when the manager says it being a man i've noticed that it's more easily accepted it's a mental thing i think because that's all that's all that's the way it's always been Mm -hmm. i guess you can say traditionally it's always been where the man what the man says goes and if a woman says it, you just look at her like say what (laughs) So, I don't know. But I mean, I mean, women is underpaid in the workplace. Yes, they are. Compared to men anyway. So, historically, this has been going on for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. think when it comes to women and women, like if, like you said, it's you get the the take back from women. I feel like they feel um, intimidated. Mm-hmm. Or like why, more like why you get to say this to me. You know, it's funny you say that because Mm -hmm. before I got my promotion, there was another girl there who wanted the promotion, not to be petty, but the the promotion was created. That position was created because my manager wanted me to be promoted Mm -hmm. because he saw my work ethic and he was like, I need to make you a supervisor. And I was like, all right, bet. But when he made, he couldn't just give me the job. He had to give a fair trade and let everybody know, hey, this position is available. Anybody who's interested you can apply. So mm-hmm. I noticed me being petty and observant that a particular other female was eager to get the position. She started staying late. She started doing the absolute most, started dressing more professional, started like, no, like legit. Like she was in here in like her business skirts and her button up so shirts dusty? and everything. Exactly. Me, y'all see how I go to work. I'm in basketball shorts and a tank top. And 
I still got the position, but she, I feel like she had a, after the promotion, like went through and everything, mm-hmm. she had an even bigger problem with me. I can understand that. That's jealousy and hate. That's, that's not my issue. But other people, like people who come on that's new that don't know how I came about in the position and things like that. Mm-hmm. And not even just me. I had a female store manager at one point and I felt like the other employees were kind of like hesitant about taking instructions from her, but they would take instructions from our male assistant manager much better. You get me? So it's like different workplaces, different like levels of hierarchy. And it's like, why is it that a woman is always getting so much like take back as far as, listen, this is what your job is. Do it. I just think it's in, in, um, intimidation. Women, in women just started being allowed to vote. <laughs> work. <Damn. laughs> Black people just started being able to vote. That's right. True. But we be talking about women, women. right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Because I, I, I could take it there as well and mm-hmm. say, it's a, it's, but not. I'm not. So mm-hmm. I'm just trying to be fair and say let's c- well i am the only black well we just got a new black person but that's because it's because it's like that when like when 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 it was black lives matter and white people was like all lives matter it's the same thing if i sit here right now and say well black man the black man is being abused or mm-hmm. in, in the workplace as well but no seriously women y'all just being allowed to vote y'all just being allowed to literally like go out there and work nowadays it's like the woman is the head of the household now. Hmm. Yup. Right? So. <laughs> yep. so do you think that's what the issue is? They're taking a lot a bit to get comfortable with the idea wait. of women being in power? No, wait. That, I don't think that would ever happen. Y- yeah. Hold well, on. Do you think that's why we don't have a female president? Oh. <laughs> yes. We don't have a female president because. Hillary was a bad choice. Not, not <laughs> she only. She was a better choice than wait, what we have now. Yes. Not that she's just a bad choice or whatever, but white the the white people Mm-mm. their wives is gonna vote like their husbands. Yep. Well, no, because the popular vote was for her. Yeah. She got the population. Yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But but he got the the yeah the the, the, the electoral electoral votes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah, because he's a male. And he's ignorant and Republican. Republican. But, yeah. Okay. So that's enough sensible talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was actually good. I was enjoying that. You were enjoying that, of course, because you yeah. want to talk about you know sexism and all that mm-hmm. fun stuff. Because it goes deep. Like it goes so it deep does. because it's like we can start talking about pay grades and about how feminine products cost more than male products as far as razors, which have Wait, the same amount. Hold, noti- hold on. Have Our you noticed? Is more expensive than Have y'all. you noticed? That's a preference. Some, some, something pointed out to me the other day. If you like realize there's certain lotions, the male ones are always black, always darker. <laughs> yeah, dark brown or like dark blue. Because a woman will be white or, or be pink cream, or yellow. Or pink, pink or, or cream some- or yellow. And the men's own are always dark. But, they're always black. But that's girl. men color. That's no, like fuck that. Mean, I like black. What that mean? You a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, Act like one. Might as well. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a nigga. Okay, you're a, a king. You're a guy. A guy, a man. You're in that category. So I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was crazy because now I see it in the stores. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. You. So you think it's sexist that our bottles are pink and Why flowery? I can't get a black one? Um, you can shit. No, you cannot. Who no, fuck. you cannot. No, you cannot. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of Victoria's They're Secret. They're all or light. Like, no, They're there was all a light. video on YouTube. I was gonna watch it. Damn, I was gonna watch it, but it was the history on pink and blue. Why pink is for girls and blue is for for boys. Mm-hmm. I need to watch it. I, Pussy I'm, and buddy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, no? yeah, pull, pull my buddy. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be sensible. Go ahead. <laughs> talk, talk. She just no, said but, she was done. But I'm saying it's no pull, pull my buddy. Don't make sense. No, they okay. go together. Um, well, I mean, the other day was bisexual visibility day, so I mean, pink, blue, oh, and purple. Shout hey, out, hey, layup for y'all. Um, layup, there is, dunk it. <laughs> there is gonna be some kind of gay parade in uh, Hialeah. When coming up? Hialeah. Yeah, yeah, Hialeah. the first one. Oh, Palaka, Hialeah. Mm-hmm. The first I'm one. Look it up. Y'all should look it up. Well, I mean, I've never been to a pride in South Florida. I think I mentioned that on a show before. Did Every I say that I wrong? Pride, gay parade or pride? Should I have said pride? S- <laughs> Listen, they gay come parade on. is okay. It's not okay. offensive. It's all right. All right. <laughs> Just don't say Batman parade. <laughs> oh my God, Shay! <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> but no, honestly though, on the topic of that. I think I talked about this before, but I feel like certain people, when they say certain slurs, mm-hmm. 
it's not intended to be negative. Like, if that's all you know. know, exactly. Like, Jamaicans, they don't know nothing about gay for the most part. They so, they say, say Batman, Batman is a Batman. So, it's like, it's not saying it like, ew, nasty, or, or bond them out. It's just that's what, what I know. know a gay person is. Well, exactly. Or them call you a sodomite. It's one of them. Never two. heard that one, but I would never say that. It sounds like a disease. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what some of them want you to think it is. Mm. But that's just, you know, that something makes else. Oh. That makes sense. Okay, so we talked about that. As far as you, you talk to niggas more than I do. So I just want to know, do you feel like when a guy asks for your number, right? Mm-hmm. As Not even just you, other women. When they give their number, do you feel like they intend on getting the guy to call them back? Like, what's your take on a woman giving out her phone number? Okay, so we're going to go based off women and not me. Oh, um, child. <laughs> Well, I want to yes. know your take, too. My take, my personal take, I don't give a damn whether you call or not. Okay. Because, mind you, half of the time you ain't getting a real number. Okay. Well, okay, I'm kind of old. So, back in the day, we used to give out the party line number, right? <laughs> Nowadays, though, niggas will call you on the spot. Like, oh, lock me in. Like, that's um, their gimmick. Baby, my phone's dead. Oh, shit. Send I me a text. I can't, I can't do that because 90% of the time when I'm out, I'm socially awkward. I'm on my phone. My like, phone's not, off. With P- <laughs> How you using it? <laughs> Wi-Fi. Oh, Jesus. Me, though, I'm okay with giving out my phone number. Half of South Florida probably has my phone number. You because, can Google your damn phone number. But you know what the problem is, though? I block people. As soon as you send me a message, I know not to respond to you. See, that's that's a lot. That's a lot. That's, that, that's a lot of work because I'm not doing that. Well. Yeah, I- but... um. It puts it puts women in a in a position sometimes where if you feel like if you don't give the guy your number, you never alone. know what's gonna happen. Okay. And things it's so crazy nowadays. So See, it's like if I have the phone number, I don't have it. There is a hotline. There's a phone number that they can call. There's a lady that answers says you're making her feel uncomfortable. Leave her alone. <laughs> really? Yes. Word. Yes. I what is the, no no no? What's no. the phone number? I'm you don't know the phone it. number? I'm Please find look up the phone number. Wow, why? Why? Wow, we talk no, about seriously, wow. they have a number like and it, they she literally says the lady says you're making her feel uncomfortable. Leave her alone. Shit. Wow. That's like, dope. like you're receiving okay, look this up message. That number because. I Numbers. did not know that. But it's funny you pointed that out as a man because I had that in my notes. Like, one of the reasons that women don't, like, give their numbers out is because they feel like they might get attacked or something bad might happen if they reject this person. Because y'all know street harassment is real. Like, mm-hmm. you walking on the street, nigga, hey, girl, hey, girl Memorial in a black day. shirt, Back in blue the day. shirt, pink shorts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not, mama. Not, even just, <laughs> not even just Memorial Day on a regular day. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. The I got the phone number. Oh, where are we at? The phone number is six 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 well six six nine two two one six two five one. One more time for the people then. Six six nine two two one six two five one. So if a man crazy. decides or to woman. bother you or, or woman, woman that just won't leave you the fuck alone and did get a number, give them the number and just run. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run. Don't well, walk. Run. If they say they're gonna call you right now, I advise you to like, just I like, have to use the bathroom. Like I'll be find right a way back. to but get away from them. But there's things that men go through as well that i don't think women realize that could be awkward that is awkward yes Mm -hmm. like for instance i was in a club um one time and i was going to the bar and a girl grabbed my dick oh i thought she was gonna say she back it up on you right she grabbed my dick but i didn't realize who did it so i kept moving hold on you just let somebody oh, grab I was about your to ask dick. She's pretty, but you said you didn't realize. No, no, no. no. Wait, wait. Bitch, so, I'm snapping. <laughs> no, no, no. So wait. So I kept, I kept moving. I can't snap. That's gonna be crazy. Who so, grab a dick? <laughs> Who grab a dick? Grab a goddamn dick. <laughs> so I circled back around to get another drink, like a few. You know what I mean? She mm-hmm. grabbed it again. Yeah, but this time I seen who it was. So Did you know the person? No, I didn't know who she Should've was. Hit that bitch in the throat. That, that is assault. Were you hard? Yeah, I don't think I was hard. So she just reach for you and just yeah. you've never seen this person before how did the conversation go after this was there a conversation or you just you i was young bitch? and in a hornball so i probably oh did you liked smash. it you liked it yeah I like, oh, so, so it worked for her then it worked for back. her but what if it was what if what if i didn't like it what if i didn't you want punched that, that bitch in the throat no <laughs> you know no 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 no, that, no be, to be that's honest, assault that's, be, that's self-defense to be honest because that's what yeah. happens with women too if somebody approach y'all especially when when y'all dancing mm-hmm. if a guy come up behind y'all and he y'all look back and he looks cute ah right, y'all let it rock but if the guy look ugly y'all be like nah, hey, nah, 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 wait, nah, wait, nah, wait, nah, hold nah. on okay pause 
I'm sometimes, just being honest. Hold here. on, not always. Because sometimes we might be in our feelings. We might just want to dance and get feelings. out some. Feelings. Okay. <laughs> then you might want to just dance off some stress, dance off some negative By energy. By yourself. By yourself, or, or just with your homegirls or the people you came with. It's not always I'm at the club to dance on somebody's dick. It's I'm here to enjoy myself. Now, Keep sometimes, your dick on the wall. sometimes, and I feel like based on the people I hang out with, the type of girls that I hang out with. It's usually a slimmer chance that we're okay with dancing with a guy. Not even because, like, I dance with a whole, I hang out with a whole bunch of gay people, but just on the fact of, like, we're just not friendly. Like, if I don't know you, don't come up to me. But like, that's what I'm saying with the she girl. She moved somebody it, out my way while I was dancing. Yeah, I did. There was a video, video of it. Right. Mm-hmm. But that's what I was saying with the girl. Sometimes you might approve that. Be like, all right, bet, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But there's another time where I might be like, nah, yo, that's wild. So, mm-hmm. I mean... It's, yeah. it's a lot of double standards in but these things. at the same time, though, guys will come up to dance with you and you'll say, nah, I'm good. Like, I've seen chicks persi- full on, like, mush a nigga, Listen. like, hand to mm-hmm. chest and push I back. I think th- that has to be a mental problem. I, I don't understand. See, I've been in a position where, what do they call it? Where you, when one person's behind you and one person's behind you? Been over untouched, though. Whatever. A that, sandwich? That's not really a sandwich. <laughs> but Meat I've been bitch. in that where I move one person from behind me. And he will push me down and then his friend come in front of me. Now I'm about to fight you. Right. And I've done that. <laughs> like start I'm fighting, gonna start fighting. fighting. Like, bro, get back the fuck up. I moved you and you pushed me down. Now your friend. Now I'm gonna fuck you up yeah. and I'm gonna beat your friend. Where were your friends? I went with my cousin and she was drunk. She's a hoe. Oh. So it didn't really <laughs> She's a hoe. I went with my cousin. <laughs> She's, She's a, a hoe. hoe. It didn't really work out because she was too busy trying to find dick. Oh, because I'm about to say she thought it was okay. I was the was... responsible one. Because I, I didn't drink. <sighs> What? Okay. My cousin's a hoe. I went with my cousin. <laughs> she's <That's> a hoe. <laughs> I went with my cousin. She's so, a hoe. So, like, literally fighting, like, and no disrespect to any of their, like, nationalities, but they were Haitian. And, you know, Jamaican flag all day. And they thought it was cool. And, like, literally, I elbowed him in his mouth. And we start fighting. Okay. Like, bitch, I'm not playing with you. As someone who dances, right? Mm-hmm. You, not me. Because mm-hmm. I just stand up and take pictures and videos. <laughs> As someone who dances... Does it matter to you if the guy behind you dances or if he just stands there? Um, bitch, you ain't just gonna stand behind me. You better move. <laughs> Why a waistline? <laughs> um, we got it because now I'm just feel like I might as well dance on a wall if you're just gonna stand there. Guys, nah, you hear it that? It depends on the kind of guy. If he's my boyfriend, then yes. If he's a nigga I'm talking to, then yes. If you're just a random ass motherfucker, please go stand on the wall. Exactly. Exactly. My point. No, but I always say that too because any girl that's in a relationship. If I'm getting home and you dicking me down at the end of this, I'm gonna have to dance on you. you like, can, I have to. Not even that you have to, because bitch, no. I. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I don't dance often, but when I do, you need to at least catch the rhythm. Like, I'm come on, like at least look, yeah, a like, little you, know, <laughs> you ain't even gotta do too much. He's a bad man, no gun finger. Gun finger right. go which part? So got, gun finger. Okay, put the gun right. finger in the air. Just go like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> see that? Wind up your waistline. Gun finger in the ear. That. See, that. if you can do that, that you catch a vibe. That. But if you're just standing there stiff like a board, I might as well dance on the wall. And baby, if you're coming out with me, you're not moving. You can go home. Oop. I'll meet you at the house. Oop. Do you believe that if you can't dance, you can't fuck? No. Because girls can dance and can't fuck. Ooh, so you that's think they be faking it? No, that's true. They be true. showing out for the club and go home and just... And can't have no rhythm riding dick at all. I know a couple people like that, and I be looking at them like, damn How you. How you know? People tell. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm just personal experience. God damn it, Shadow Oh, team. no, I have rhythm in all places, so I have no problem. Oh, no, I meant like somebody else was... Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Ooh, child. Okay. So, I want to know. Mm-hmm. Are men still bragging about their dick size? Yes. Are they still bragging about sex game? I don't know. Don't talk to them niggas. Okay, because I want to know. Like, have you ever gotten caught up with that? Like, niggas. Bragging? Yeah, and it was awful. Awful how? Like, bitch, get off of me! I'm going home. Like, did he not measure up? No stroke. Like, I. You're 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 like a um jackrabbit. Oh so god! Short that. jab. Like <laughs> it's like you're having a seizure on top of me. It's not working. Oh, that's all right. So you know, like you just lose all. Just, <laughs> You just, you just done. <laughs> like, everything inside of you just died. <laughs> Yikes. And you're just laying there. Like, are you done yet? Oh, no. Are you done yet? If I start using my phone and asking <laughs> you if you're done, that means you're done. You pulled out your phone during sex? Listen, I need to call my Uber and go home. Are you serious? Hey, girl, call me right now. I need to go. During sex? Yes, I've done it a couple times. 
never call them again. Oh my goodness. If so I, even if I'm checking the time, I should not be able to pick up my phone at all. So you smashing and passing on these niggas? Yeah. Damn. So you over there in the corner. Do you brag on your sex life and your dick game and your uh abilities and things like that? You tell them it's your stroke game on A one? <laughs> uh, I blow your back out. <laughs> nah. I feel like the quiet ones do the best. You think so? No, nah, don't listen. To me. <laughs> some of them be virgins. I, or some of the loud ones be virgins too, though. Some of the loud ones. From my personal experience, I've had somebody like hype themselves up. Like when I say hype, like nigga was hype. And yeah, then it was I like, think, yeah, bitch, you you don't even know where the hole is. Not even that. It was what we were talking about before. Is it in yet? Tell me what it is. Bitch, if I ask you that, bro, I'm going home. Home. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm all right, home. I'm not supposed to say this, but you the type to make a nigga whoop your ass. <laughs> then we duking it out. The fuck? <laughs> we gonna duke it out, but there's no way in hell I'm gonna sit there and ask you if it's in you. Because if I if I know damn well, if I'm gripping and don't feel nothing, I need to go yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. Quinted fee, my friend. <laughs> Quinted yeah, yeah. fee. Yes. If I, I need to go home. My friend said she had grip upon the body and oh, Jesus. That's what I do. <laughs> so if I'm doing that and you're not, eh, that means nothing's there. Damn. It's kind of good to um i guess surprise the girl yeah you know what i mean it's, just, it's, it's best to surprise that it's the mysterious you pass, she like, oh shit i don't mm. know if i can do that mm. <laughs> well bitch too late because i'm putting where are you going with that one <laughs> or i'm very direct uh-huh. it's either that or i'm very direct so you're not bragging you like this is what it just is say, what's up fuck you like that yeah yeah okay. i'm gonna send you a gift what <laughs> wait like, yeah you sending gonna... gifts now no like a gift like a <laughs> A graphic. I know, image. I know, I know. It's a joke. Come on. Yep. I I, this sure is how I'm gonna do it. Someone might think you, you know, it was actually you know, a gift. G-I-F without the T. <laughs> right. So yeah, okay. I'm gonna send you one of those and let you know. All right, that to get yourself ready for something like that. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Ladies. Yeah. All right. If you get a gif, you know what the time it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm you Have you ever broken up with someone because of bad sex? Yes. Mm-hmm. Nah, no, because I, I I wouldn't get in a relationship with you. So you gotta fuck before you get in a relationship. Oh uh, yeah, bitch. Really? Yeah, ain't no happy ever after <laughs> if I ain't hit it. <laughs> hey, before no. I said we serious, I need not to know even. Bef- I'm, okay, you talk about happy ever after. I'm talking about talking marriage. What you talking about dating? Yeah, like y'all, you know, vibing mm-hmm. y'all, girlfriend boyfriend. No, dating Damn. is different from girlfriend boyfriend. So you talking about in the girlfriend boyfriend aspect? Yeah. Yes. Damn. No. You ain't hit it before he became your boyfriend or girlfriend? Depending on the person. <laughs> mm. But um, I have, to, it, it won't even get to the boyfriend and girlfriend part if that's the case. Okay, so are you like this one over here? Like you have to have sex with the person before it becomes like boyfriend, yeah, girlfriend? Yeah, the fuck? Okay. Because I need to know if that determines if we can actually work. Really? If, if the sex is bad, trust me, there's, I'm not going to pay attention to anything you do. I'm sorry. And and a good sexting is, is, is called for. I think, yeah, yeah. Before just to see, you mean like just to kind of talking? Yeah, just to kind of see where. How do you where, do where a proper head dirty is. talk? I don't know how you do. You that. know what I mean? Like just you dirty to see. slut. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But <laughs> you need to slut. know what she's what she's into. Like okay, yo, so like are you into being she... like tied up? Like. Are you into being See, choked? Somebody wanna, said you bad know? sex leads to horrible relationships. Yes, of course. Damn, I think y'all some horn balls. No, I especially am. if she can't come and she's got like built up. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, sis, she need a release. Oh, you care about her coming? I care about her coming definitely. Then you did your job, the fuck. I'm just saying because a lot of guys don't even care about that. If they... I come before the girl, I feel defeated. I feel like I Listen, ain't do my job right. If if I'm not trying to take you serious and I come. <laughs> And you didn't come there so far. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm just going to like, say. Like, all right, I'm done. Start pushing them off. Yeah, like, hey. I know, that, no, I don't even say nothing. I just right. be like, eh, uh, sensitive. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Just you move can, that one leg and just get up you and You got two away. hands. You can finish yourself. Damn. I've seen them do it. You, what? Uh, I've, oh. I've gone to sleep while they're doing oh, this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Watching porn and trying to finish up, too. No, oh, no. You mean. 
I like you though. A lot of girls need to be more like you because a lot of these chicks be out here taking bad sex and dealing with it because they don't want to be mean and hurt the guy's feelings and they don't want him to feel inferior. I'm well, what about teaching him? How about teaching him? And don't give me that some some guys don't want to learn. How about teaching him? Okay, Let's if put I that te- to the okay, side. so if I, <clears throat> see, I see the same person I'm talking about. Oh shit! I've taught, I've instructed, Mumbo I've guided. Cut. And you still can't get it right. So after the third strike, I ain't done. All right, Shadow T, I need to get all in your business. <laughs> because, bitch, what? <laughs> I need to know details on this. You are guiding someone into this. And okay, you are. If you, if, listen, if, if, this is he, like on, the last, on my show, I said mm-hmm. I like sucking dick. Now, Ooh. if I don't do that to you, there's a problem. So you just started off head first. Probably. <laughs> No, you got see. You got to do me first. Ah. See, it, it starts with the kissing. If you can't kiss right, then I know you probably can't eat pussy right. And if that's the case, then I gotta fill you out a little bit. And if it starts to get awkward, I'm just gonna let. I'm you ever gonna... had anybody bite you on a vagina? Yes, and I've kicked them. Shit. Like, bitch, this is not a chew toy. Don't <laughs> fucking play with me. <laughs> You're not teething. That do is not a caption. Put... <laughs> that's a You're not teething. I I will literally <laughs> kick you. I've kicked somebody. Don't fucking play with me. Damn. Maybe I just look like somebody not to be tried. Because I be hearing these stories from women. And I feel so bad. Because I'm like, nobody did what to your who? Someone said you can bite the click a little bit. No, you can nibble. <laughs> you are not biting. Do not put your teeth directly on my... No. It's the same way where guys don't want to feel teeth when they get their dick sucked. Do not no. bite me. <laughs> no. You had something to say on that one. <laughs> Dude, don't face. fucking said, no. bite me. <laughs> I mean, because I agreed with y'all. Ain't nothing for me to ask. See, now, okay. My thing is, you can bite, but just not there. Like, certain places. It, the hell no. I like pain sometimes. See, right. I can take the toddlers because somebody's trying to bite off. My, I'm like, yo, my nipple. Oh, no. Like, now, no. if I feel like skin breaking, me and you going to have problems. No. And that's been done to me before where every time I take a shower, like, you can feel you it. You feel just, raw? Oh, Jesus, Mm-mm. no. I cried for like a week. No, 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 no. See, okay. I'm okay with biting in places that aren't considered sensitive. So no genitalia, no nipples. Like don't don't bite my lip. People have to see that. No, I love that shit. No, but like not to the point where it's fucking oh, no, busted. Not when, no, that's the problem. How do you feel about that's, hickeys? Uh, I'm black. You can't see that. <laughs> oh, you think? I don't want nobody to try to make to see it. the fuck. <laughs> that shit look purple. Yeah. yeah. That means like somebody hit me in my foot. No, no. No, I think that's tacky. No, because you like I'm skin. Not, Cause you got to go out in the world and the w- places y'all want to put it is like on your neck and and, and stuff what like that. What's that? That's a hickey on your that. neck, nigga. I was never into that. I like hickeys on like places not regular people can see. So that that's that's probably under cool. the titty, on the rib cage somewhere. Put it on the booty cheek, like you know. Well, what I'm damn. Saying? I'm just, if he like you, he'll do it. That's <laughs> probably cool. That's probably cool. Yeah. Or she. Or she. Yeah. If you're open to having your butt cheek bitten or. Sucked on for a little bit. Oh, wow. okay. What did we walk into here? Thank I am you. just saying, you know, some guys are okay with their butt cheeks being. Um. Yeah, that's true. But um. Attention being paid to, you know, their rear end, not necessarily, you know, anything fun like the last episode, but yeah. little little kiss, a little nibble, this little little, little, you know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all are ending things over bad sex like that's the oh, yeah. that's it. no we not i'm not ending anything i'm not Please. getting into a relationship the man said with you. if you can't fuck me right before i yeah. leave you no. i ain't and it's you. more than just it's more than just like having sex i like to do things like i like whipping i like chains i like oh. i like uh he tie um, motherfuckers up a leash whips and chains and, and things like that. that like didn't yeah. we want to make a song about that <laughs> so, so you're into the whole full bdsm well i won't it's, do it too too crazy but you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. do you believe in safe words of course, of course. Really? Yeah, of course. Safe word I mean, I mean, you don't have to have a necessarily a safe word but come on, my dude. <laughs> you should know what's going on like you should know what's going on. You choking her. You should know you about to break her. Like the bitch is throat. turning what is purple. Wrong with you? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like <laughs> she's turning purple. Hey, come on, man. In my defense, maybe she wants to be close to death. Maybe she'll come harder that way. Bitch, you crazy? <laughs> you, like, look, you like your bed? I'm light skinned Do you, you know? like your bed? I might get purple, but I might still enjoy Anybody it. Anybody ever been to jail? Understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you like oh, your bed? <laughs> okay. 
contract. Your bed. <laughs> Not the bed they assigned you. Your bed. I've never been to jail. I didn't understand the context. Sorry. Right. So, <laughs> no near death experiences. None. No. <laughs> no, get me. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna choke you, and you are gonna feel it. You gonna you gonna like you gonna it. Feel it. And I like when you put your hand, like when you grab my hand and force me I to bet do it I harder. Can't you know what I mean? Choke me harder, baby. Choke like, me harder. Like, I like that. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, to I'm answer your it. question, I'm not getting in a relationship with you if the sex is bad anyway. Do you believe in good pussy energy or big dick energy? Good pussy energy. Like, like you can tell no. before you have sex no. with somebody nope. that Hell the sex is no. good? Nope. I've been fed. Damn. Damn. They got you, sis? Bro. Ooh. I was pissed. Damn. Still can't look at them. Listen, man, day. a lot of y'all Instagram girls got whack pussy. <gasps> Shit. We talking from personal experience or all y'all Instagram models? Experience. You're a slut. <laughs> Instagram people. He Some of them girls you be lusting years. You like, damn, shorty bass. And you finally get her multiple what ones. What the fuck is this? <laughs> and it's trash, son. Okay, it's but trash. not just damn, she bad, but like energy. Because they feel like they pretty. No, because your energy you give off is like confidence, confidence, mm, and that. I know I'm bad. I know I'm right. This. Your pussy I'm the, I'm is the trash. baddest chick. I'm this and I'm that, right? Pussy's trash. But then when you get it, it's like a dead fish. It's like it's oh, just, oh. dead it's fish. Just, it's just there, Whoa. and then bad you know. analogy. We don't want dead fish. It might Whoa. smell bad. Mm-mm. It's just there. Mm. It's laying there. So you Not want easy. her to fuck back? I mean, That's I mean. It. I mean, look what Shay said. Shay said, look, I love giving head. So off the rip, like a girl like that is going to take your man. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, shit. I, I got your in man in you. Wait, this is later on in the... Se- hold on, hold on. So, so as much as these... these this is I, early in the segment, IG hold on. girls is bad and they, they, all of that. They got a face full of makeup and this, that, and the third. Like, you, you, you're not a pleaser. You're just worried about yourself. Oh. Right, you so just she not gripping about, the body head. She yeah. she just laid on the sun, just a tech fuck. Yeah. She just she's like just spread out. So. What well, cartel say? Me don't wanna boring fuck. Oh my god. Me don't wanna boring. All right. Okay, so makes that's sense, what we. Tip on your toe, I'm on the line. <laughs> okay, guys, y'all are exciting. Y'all want the acrobats and things of what? that nature. Boom flick, pommy dick, y'all come skip. Mm. Exactly. Okay, are you boom flicking on the penis? Maybe. <laughs> My God. So you answer the phone? Answer no, the phone. We no, got people calling. No, that one, no. Well, on that subject, I want to ask. Whoa. If you and somebody break up, right? Mm-hmm. And you find out that during the relationship, they cheated on you. Hold on. Mm. Y'all broke up and y'all are on good terms. There's no negative energy. Y'all vibe. It's not even like we're best friends, but if y'all see each other, it's no like no kind of stress. Okay? Mm-hmm. You find out later on, and it's credible that this person cheated on you. Uh-huh. Does that change how you feel about that person? Yes. Yeah. The fuck. <laughs> you fight him? I ain't fighting him. Like you can't ever come back my way. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Like when people call on my phone randomly. Mm-hmm. And still getting denied. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope you see the shit too. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> So I plead the fifth. I you plead know. the fifth? Hey, you Nick Cannon ass nigga. <laughs> you don't. That's the Shadow T segment. This is no <laughs> point. Let's start. This is, that's your half of the show. We're not doing no plead the fifth over here. Yeah, I should have been going back and forth. But it's yeah, okay. she she just entertaining her live. She not paying no they attention to the question. To you. Ahead, I'm sorry. What was the question? And go back. Well, you it. got the list. I'm saying you're not asking no questions. I'm just here. This this sounds like pointless talks. No, because Shay's here and answering <laughs> questions and giving her peace. Mm. It's, it's pointless tea shadow really, talks okay and so, point, again. pointless is digging in my life to get tea right no, no, no that's what i'm saying <laughs> okay. that's what i'm saying it makes sense and what and pointless what is tea okay listen shadow listen, talks let me let me t- exactly <laughs> shay's talking right. oh this is what y'all talks. doing yeah you, you're i got me. my rum for nothing you're right. me mm-hmm. no but uh, okay. so what you think you ain't giving your opinion you just no, asking, asking me nothing i i i i i do you suck oh, dick or not i need Listen, I man. need to don't plead the Listen, fifth. Man. Hey, let's have a show. You suck dick or you don't suck dick. <laughs> I got a bitch to do that for him. It's okay. All right, so you don't suck dick. I didn't say. Whoa. That. I'm just saying I got a bitch to do that. You're not answering the him. question. The bitch can suck dick all she want. I need to know. Does pointless talk suck dick? I've been trying to hold this question out for two <laughs> weeks. Answer the fucking question. <laughs> Wait, boom can boom? I get some backstory? <laughs> why, why, why? Because we, I don't remember how this came up. We was at work. We was talking about something, and I was like, "If she sucked dick, she did not answer the question." So I put it in my phone, <laughs> and I said, "I'm gonna ask this shit on air." 
good one. I and like I that. said, mm-hmm. my, answer, the fifth my to answer to this question she is. She eats vagina. We all know that. Pointless talks. We know you eat pum pum. You know, know, I like this. <laughs> I like where you're going with this. <laughs> you, we know you let the, the, the next chick, if she's in the room, suck his dick. <laughs> My question to and she's you. she's down for her, her community. <laughs> yes. You know, she rides yes. for them. So, so yeah, you're people just want to know, do Let's you suck this. dick? Let's hear this. Let's hear this. I don't know what this means. I'm a virgin. You want, did you got the mic in your face right now. Do you? And you see how far I am away okay, from it? See that? I'm trying to figure out. I'm do you to, like I'm it in your get... mouth a little bit? Just a little, mm, <laughs> just a little bit? <laughs> Let me know. I need to know these things. <laughs> Huh? This, it's, it's a yes or Why no does question. this question make you uncomfortable? Because <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. Oh, shit, okay, I'm grown I'm ass man suck dick. You right? Exactly. <laughs> so do you suck dick? Good comeback. <laughs> Good comeback. Yeah, she like, came ready. <laughs> she got her rebuttals what? ready. What's um, up? How many years is too long for? <laughs> nope. Um. Nope. That is situational. That is situational. How? I don't feel like everyone deserves the pleasure that is my mouth. Mm. So that is not okay. something that I am willing to. Okay, but you're not answering the question. Indulge. I'm I, getting I there. I get your I'm situations. Getting there. Sometimes, yes, once in a while. So, yes, you suck dick. Depending on the nigga. <laughs> okay, <laughs> do you no. enjoy sucking dick? If that's my nigga, yeah. Okay. Because that's so the only you time it's happening. That's my question. I under- you happy now? I just wanted you to you say happy yes. Now? <laughs> I understand you doing the situations. It depends on the guy. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. That should always go like that. But no. that means this it should always go depending on the, the if Not, you're into that. Don't person. say that because you're slut shaming. Power to Amber Rose. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> um so not, to, go, not, not, not to switch stories, but um did you see damn, was it Raw? Raw Denim? They're doing an anti bullying campaign and Nicki Minaj is in the campaign. And She's Amber in Rose, the ca- campaign yeah, out of all people. Right. And Amber Rose came you know, out and was saying, uh why 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 am i not involved in this campaign i've been um praising like cuz they don't no no slut shaming bullying and stuff mm-hmm. like that like why am i not involved in this and why is nikki like involved that? and she out here bullying everybody listen i was going to say i don't want to talk about american music but she's trini so i guess i have no choice <laughs> she's but a to bully. entertain this she bedroom is. Bully. i don't know about the bedroom part, mm-hmm. but i know she's a bully so that that's just hypocritical Okay. Very. Okay, go ahead. Very. Go back to your thing. I just okay. want to. But yes, pointless suck dick. Good, that was a good. Pointless suck dick, guys. <laughs> she suck dick. It all depends on the person, but she sucks dick. Announcement. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I got my answer. <laughs> that's all you care about. Breaking that's all news. I wanted to know. Pointless or pointless talks. <laughs> suck dick. Suck a little dick. Yes. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little. Not the little ones, though. Mm. Oh, Don't so want a teeny weeny, teeny weeny. Are you dick shaming? I'm not well, dick shaming. I am having a preference. She has a dick preference. It's you a preference. Be, you gotta be at least this. I dick. am not. Uh uh-uh, uh. No, no, no. All on a man. Easy. So if Lift the guy them big, but the shortness are deep. So oh. if the guy is small. Like, that can't. Why am I putting it in my mouth? You call him back. Okay. It's like a small, oh, small lollipop. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Let me put y'all on the spot. Let me, let me take y'all over know. the show. Y'all you might hurt hold somebody's feelings if you going to ask these questions. I'm going to tell you from now. Let me take over the show. Be careful. Partially ignorant. Let me go. Let me Shouts go. Out to Chase. Ain't no motherfucking partially ignorant. It's One shadow talks and pointless tea. I feel the pressure. Listen, anymore. listen, listen. Look at All you right. sucking on that ice cube, girl. Oh. Yes. I can't do that. Y'all heard that slurp? I can't do shit. If it's your first time having sex with a guy uh-huh. and he's small and he didn't send you a dick pic. Pause. Once you drop your pants, I know it's small. I'm not fucking you. Okay, wait. I'm going to tell you how I got trapped. So, what if he eats the pussy first, right? And then just sneaks the dick on you. And if I feel like it's small, I'm getting up. What if you really liked him? I don't give up. What if you had a crush on him for like the longest yes, while? Yes, and that would be the biggest disappointment. And I'm going to be sad, highly you know, upset. No I'm going to cry him. about it a little bit. And know that he had a small dick and I liked him since fucking high school. And you ruined my whole entire dream of what we could have been. Oh, my God. So now I'm just not gonna deal with you. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Let me okay. get one of these ice So <laughs> so hold on. So hold on. So in that case, uh huh. Do you have both do you both have Jesus. a certain guy for certain things? Meaning he that one argument. guy that one guy that give head. I've already answered this question. Right? On what show? Was it part no, partially ignorant? I answered this. Alright, not on not on um oh. Shadow Talks Pointless <laughs> T. My bad, my bad, okay. my bad. Okay. I said I had three go-tos. Uh-oh. They all fuck me differently. Ooh. 
and I appreciate all three of them. Okay, what are the different ways? I have questions. The three different ways. One fucks me long and hard. Ooh. One eats vagina very well. Mm. And, um, the other one just had me everywhere. <laughs> oh. So when I want to be everywhere, this one I call. Y'all be going to the Toby? Of course. That's Ooh, a hot spot. shit. See, I feel like a child when y'all start talking about the Chobe because I have the only been in the parking lot. It's a lit room. <laughs> it's actually called the Boom Boom. No, we call it the Boom Boom. Oh, it's called Exotic Suites. Shout out to Exotic Suites and all the hotels. Pointless. Don't be backsliding. You said we wasn't asking you no questions. What's Go the ahead. Question? Uh, okay. Pay attention. Listen. When I was a young whippersnapper, right? That's a bum bum. There you go. Young whippersnapper. Okay, because first of all, if I'm in a relationship, point blank period, that one person I'm in a relationship with is everything. I don't need no extras on the outside. Because if I'm in a relationship with you, you got to be fulfilling at least two of my needs. So How when I was a young whippers, you I got a lot. There's a lot going on in so here. So only two. Yeah, just the, the two main ones. Like you got to be able to mentally stimulate me and hormonally stimulate me. Like you got to get it wet. I got to have fever for you. Like that's that's me personally. Now... When I was younger, there was this one guy that literally all he did was eat my pussy. Like, that was it. Like, he used to give me massages, too. I, I told him he should go to school for massage therapy. I don't know if he did it. I was, you know, I'm yeah, supportive. He took it. You know, I'm supportive. So Probably he used to rub nice. me down, and then, you know, after he got down past the booty cheeks and everything, he flipped me over, rub all that, and he was just give me head and buy me food. And, and take so me he was a food head guy? No. So, how does that conversation happen? What do you mean? I'm not having sex with you. Just head and food. I don't want to have sex. And he's cool with that. <laughs> hey, anybody that accepts that shit as a nigga is dumb as fuck. That's okay. not my problem. Saying, that, I say that all the time. Yeah. That, that's why I ask this question again because this is the See, response. I've I had wanted. somebody like that and they called me out. <laughs> they said, You only use me for personal gain. I was like, Wow. Okay. You're right. But my thing <laughs> is, niggas get mad when bitches do the same shit that they do. It becomes a problem. Because I'm pretty sure a nigga out here is like, damn, she gave some bomb ass head. And every time he wants some good ass head, I'm he calling, calling loose neck chick down the street to come slobbing down. But she might still down. get, get She some probably dick, cook though. him some food. But she might still get some because dick. Because y'all are weak thing. to the flesh. That's why. Bitches got mind control when it comes to the pussy. Exactly. So it's, nah, it's I different. Nah, I turn down some pussy. Okay. After she sucked your dick? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, oh, good for you. Okay. A lot of niggas ain't well, like you that. Because I'm going to come. After I come, that's it. I'm out. What Thank if, you. What if, she don't, what if she don't get you all the way to the end and she like try to slide the pum pum on there? Bitch, put my dick back in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, honestly, though, if if you're giving me head, I got to be attracted to you. And, really? And, yeah, because I'm looking at your face. Be, some niggas you don't be back, back here. I know. <laughs> They're looking up here. <laughs> no, if you're giving me head, I gotta be attracted to you. Like to put my penis in your mouth. Like, what are you? What are we doing really? here? Yeah, and I want to look down on you. I want to look down on you. Damn, yeah, damn, bitch, you wanna, sucking that shit. Nice. I want to grab your neck. And I want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, excuse me. We don't me, know how to continue. choke on the dick. <laughs> Back to he might. That's some funny. no, honestly, some guys. I'm not gonna try to take shots or nothing. Some guys, especially the ones with the smaller. Parts. They, try to be they want, all extra you know, shit. they want to hear the choking. It makes them feel more. What am I choking on? There's nothing there. Oh my god! His hand around your throat. I'm oh just saying. God. Well, just, just choke. Well, just choke me and hear me. <laughs> <laughs> don't put I, your I don't need in my you mouth. to necessarily choke, but I like it sloppy. Not... Some guys like that though. Like the sound of you choking is good for them. Like they're okay with that whole thing. There's actually porns. Mm -hmm. Directed to just bitches choking and vomiting. Ew, oh god. That's a disgusting. Please stop. Yeah. Come that's on. That's just nasty. Yeah, we were doing so good. Just, you it, fucked it up. I'm sorry. You fucked it so up, pointless. <laughs> I was about to go on my favorite porn site later. You Why doing you so keep showing at the same porn site they ain't paying you? Because I'm trying to get the endorsement. All right, go You ahead. hating. Right, Why are they going to pay you if they're already getting it? It's like a nigga nah, wife and you after Trust getting me. the pussy. Kanye shot out Pornhub and got a deal. Y'all hating right now. Go ahead. Do He's Kanye. Black people. You see, black people. Don't Wanna say black shoot people. down your dreams. I didn't say See, nothing. Let, let's talk about it. Let's How talk about it. How you go from it. sex to that? Black people try to shoot down your dreams. I got goals and dreams of, you know, producing on Porn? XX, and you're shooting out my dreams right now. You want to send okay. in some of your work that you shot? Definitely. Ooh, I have so wait, much okay. work in the vault. Question. Honestly, what? this is serious. No, sorry. <laughs> this is a serious question. This is a serious question. You're a videographer, right? You're a producer, videographer, director, all that shit. You know, all plug, plug, plug. Okay. Would you shoot a porn? Like, honestly, like, seriously, like a Would full. Would I shoot a porn? Yeah, like, not one that you're in, not your home videos and all shit like that. Like, somebody <laughs> actually having sex. Would you be 
okay with attaching Fly Fair Nation Productions. I wouldn't put Fly Fair Nation on Why that. Why not? It would be a different company because Fly Fair Nation is, that's not what we're about. What are we about? Not that. We're not about sex. We're, we're no, talking about no, it right no, no, now. No, 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 We're about sex. But? But we're not about that uh, uh, form of it. Why you not? Know what I'm it's saying? sex. It's consensual. It. No, 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 no. We no, don't produce different. pornos. I'm, no, I'm, asking, I'm not even trying to be funny right That's now. I'm really trying to understand why not. Because, okay. Are you shaming studies, sex workers? Okay, listen, Jesus you, Christ. You want to do this? Yes. Oh, shit. All right. I'm not a part of this show. <laughs> studies study have shown that almost everyone mm-hmm. watches porn. Yes. Okay. But we can't watch porn on regular channels. Yeah, because kids can watch it. But, they're watching porn now. But ki- exactly. Because they sneak and their parents don't know shit. They but do they're it watching they're it. In the house. Okay. When 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 pay per view and all of those whatever. Hey, came my brother out. used to order so many on accident, quote unquote. Exactly. Right. <laughs> So, <laughs> what I'm saying is, those type of things is so common. Watching porn and, and stuff like that is so common, but America or the world is not that acceptance. You feel of like just it's too taboo. Porn. So, so they wait. Do all the so, skits and shit. so for instance, I hate that part. So, for instance, Fly Fair Nation, we can do a um, R-rated film, and we can do a children animated film. But I wouldn't want to attach porn to that because like I said, porn is not accepted in Hollywood well, like that. You get what I'm saying? And that, but what I would do is create another company for that. So I'm not saying I won't shoot it. Question. It would just be a different company for that. Would that company be under Fly Fair Nation? Of course. Oh, okay. I just, <laughs> I just want to know because I just feel of like course. you're trying to separate yourself from no. the No, por- you're trying to separate okay. the two companies. Because sex sells at the end of the day. Of course. So that's why I said I would do an R-rated film where you would have sex. You, you know, know the all the sex scenes are shot in Miami? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> not all of them some of them are like California of them. California like most that. of them they be coming out here staying that's 3 true. 4 days in the boom boom room shooting sex scenes that's true that's would you same. ever be in a porno fuck no why not in my own porno hey okay. would you submit any of your porno no listen y'all wanna know what my favorite porn site is Jesus Christ don't you. tell me uh, homegrown oh, yeah, freaks yeah, yeah. Okay, because I like the ashy. I've never I like, heard that. Because you have to have an account to sign in and watch I it. I am not doing that shit. I but need my free shit. <laughs> the thing about, well, it's not mine. I didn't pay for it. I took someone else's account. But I'll, I feel okay. like it's like the shit that you put on your phone and you submit to the website and you can watch it. it it is so raggedy. And so, but it's it's real. I hate the skits and I hate the who's at the door. Oh my gosh, police I skip officer! Past all that shit. Yeah. Right. Who watched that? <laughs> I don't get time. Personally, I just like the climax. I just want to see the last five minutes when they're coming. Yeah. I just want to see the girl give head to the next girl. I want to see all the extra shit. So you just watch lesbian porn? Yes. I don't watch. I can't watch a guy fucking. It's just weird. Really? Because I don't like. Most times I won't like the way their dick look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can't watch it. And then, you know, they be doing so extra when they give a head. It's just like, just suck his Oh, baby, yeah. And then <laughs> and then there's the one, the guys that they come a lot. And it's just, I love that. Ew. Oh, that's my favorite. Face. That's my favorite. Ew. And that's it's my just favorite. all over oh. her face. And I'm just like, uh, yo. No. That was not shot in one scene. That was favorite. Of course it was. I know, but I'm just saying. It that's just nasty. don't look like it. It's just no. like, and she's just. No. <laughs> all no. Like, that's my favorite bitch, one. Not- yo, you ain't blind. <laughs> Does like, it burn? <laughs> Does I don't hurt? like the ones that run. No, you kill it for me. You, you, no, that, that that's n- well, that's you. You have a penis, so you might like that. Me personally, listen, bitch, that is gross. listen. That's a whole. That's, that's like a you whole coming bucket, and the guy stopping. No, 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 no. That listen, no. That's like a, a squirting and the guy stopping. Come, no, it what eases I'm out. Saying, it's beautiful. It's listen, like, that's I'm how not, we feel. Listen, I'm not saying that's a problem. <laughs> that's I'm talking how we about. Feel. I'm talking about the excessiveness of it. Like that is too much to be coming out of one person. Do you ever look at a guy's face after you finish coming on his face? Uh huh. Yes. Why? It, it, that doesn't look I'm like joking. a lot. Hey. Listen, that's ew. Exactly. Ugh. Ugh. I don't so, care. I ain't doing all that. A shit. real pleaser is not gonna run. That's none of my business. Why does it have to be on the face, though? You can't just, like, aim it somewhere else. It's not getting somebody eye. Put it that's on a titty. A, like <laughs> Because that's... It's passionate. What if it gets in her hair? Ew. Oh. That bitch better wash that Cutting that shit off, bitch. You got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you need, so you need a better aim. <laughs> that nigga said it. you need a better aim. No. That's reasons, like... Relationships end like that. <laughs> Don't put it in my hair. <laughs> Would you break up with someone about that? Because you just got real serious. <laughs> you gonna break up <laughs> no, with I was shit. reading something. Oh. Wait, what'd you say? If if he comes on your face? No. 
No. Bitch, just don't get it in my fucking eye. And it don't. Pre- I don't want the whole. I'm not trying to get a fucking face mask. So oh. chill. No facials go from, for you. Go from here, from my nose down. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to have that shit you in my eyes. rules and regulations. Yes, <laughs> bitch, because if you go up here, there's a possibility I might go blind for a couple hours. I'm not with it. I want to Can you get it. pink eye from someone? I'm pretty it. sure. I don't want to. I don't want so. to he- hear you that can't. it's great for I the skin. So. I don't give a fuck. There's a lot of stuff great for your skin. You don't even put it in my damn face all the time. Well, my skin is beautiful. I don't need any assistance. So thank you for the suggestion. I pass, respectively. So, mm-mm. y'all with that, y'all with that. We don't got way off topic because y'all want to talk great. about <laughs> good. foolishness. Okay. How do y'all feel about like return relationships? Like you and somebody break up, y'all get back together. <laughs> wait, wait. How long we broke up for? Does it matter? Yeah. Yes. So you feel like people can change? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, hold on. We want to hear from the negative Nancy over here first. You don't feel like people can change. Like, even if y'all broke up three years ago, Two months ago, six months, a year. I broke with somebody four years. Well, they left me oh. and decided to re-up, re-up, re-pop up in my life and still doing the same fuck shit. Are you sure okay. you're not just bitter and maybe they're No, I'm not bitter. You're just a fuck nigga. How much months? Four it's years. Four years. Yeah, that's different. That's why I said. How long? I don't got time. So you think four years is not enough? You don't think enough change can happen within no. four years? Listen. Oh. The person is only going to change if they want to change. Ooh. Exactly. So you come back with the same fuck shit, you can go about your business. Right? So if if... I allow you to walk out, like, for months and years. I don't think it makes sense to come back. Really? I, I don't think so. You. No. So, does it make a difference if, like, y'all break up today and a month down the line? But if 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 you're young, if you were, like, maybe 20-something and y'all dated and it was good, but, you know, y'all was just young and going through what young people go through, you know, and y'all catch back up later and get into a relationship and it works out, that can work, too. Because, okay. you know, you're young and you grow and you went through life. Y'all probably went through y'all whole phases. Maybe that could work. Maybe. Nope. You know, Shay's like, no, because you've been through that. Yeah. Right? So, I'm no, 23. So, no repeat But, no, you thing. ain't go through shit yet. You're 23. I haven't gone through what? No, no. What I mean is like, like, no. What, hey, explain, hey, what hey, haven't I gone through? Hey, my dog done been through some shit. Dog. Exactly. Don't don't play my dog I've gone through a lot of shit that I, I should not that's have true. gone through. That's true. In her little bit of years on exactly. this earth. Right. But that's why I never judge people by age. But I'm saying, okay, so let's say you give somebody a chance, right? Mm-hmm. They grew up in the two months y'all broke up. Yeah. Y'all break up again. Do you believe that? After a certain point of breaking up and getting back together, that it has to end, or do you just I don't feel think like the repeating of getting back to if y'all can't work fix it for y'all don't have to break up, then there's no point in you guys repeating the makeup to break up foolishness. If it's if it's too much of a stretch, if it's too, I think if it's too much of a stretch, just leave it alone. Or if you try two, three times, I right, cool, leave it alone. Like not even three, two times. After the second time, if it don't work, yeah, man, find somebody else in your life. The energy is like y'all can be friends. If it worked that way. It's too much energy, man. Can I give y'all a scenario? Okay. I'll give y'all a scenario. Okay. So let's say you're old, right? <laughs> How old are we talking? <laughs> 30. We're going to say 30. 30 right? ain't old. You... Sorry, I offended someone. So Ooh. let's say you met somebody who was 15, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all was in high school. It was great. Two, three years y'all was together. It was a beautiful time in your life. You felt like this was your first love. Everything was great. Something happened, young and dumb, y'all broke up, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all broke up, but y'all always stayed cool, right? A year or two down the line, y'all link up, y'all chilling. It's no pressure because y'all kept in contact. It's not like, oh, where have you been all my life? Like, it's, you know, we keep in contact here and A there. Year or two? Yeah, like, but listen, y'all have been keeping in contact during this time. One of these occasions, after a year or two, after y'all broke up, y'all end up having sex, right? Mm-hmm. Old feelings rush back. Yep. You know, they, uh oh. So, you know, y'all see what y'all can do based on that. You know, old feelings come back. Y'all like, all right, we're going to try this out. We're going to see what happens. A couple months later, or whatever the case is, y'all break up for whatever reason. You know, it ain't work. Do you feel like even if y'all stay in contact, does it make a difference if y'all are able to still be good friends? I mean, it really depends on the breakup, what you broke up for, to see if y'all can actually be friends. If y'all feel like y'all better off as friends, that makes sense. Now, if if y'all still fucking and y'all friend, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, don't if y'all break up, why y'all still fucking? Because the sex was good. Yeah. So when it's time for you to get into a real but relationship, y'all friends. single. 
Yes. yes. It's yeah. not like a side piece fucking. situation or nothing like I don't that. Have time for that. If I broke up, see that 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 causes. Well, she's right. That she's causes right. a lot of problems because no. even if y'all have listen, y'all break up, mm-hmm. right? But y'all still fucking. Mm-hmm. So I'm not one person made just all feelings just maybe off to the yeah. side and gone, mm-hmm. and they just like well. I got love for you, but we we still having sex. It it is what it is for them. Next person fall madly in love and they ain't feeling you like that. That's your true. feelings is hurt. Now you hate the nigga, but you still gonna fuck him because you want him in your life. That's true. That's true. She ain't lying. That's and exactly then when this one say. person try to walk away and go move on with their relationship, you feel some type mm-hmm. of way. You start calling, you hating, and mm-hmm. da, 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 all this extra shit. Now you look Preach. crazy. Hallelujah. You're, you look crazy. I and saw it. When, it break, when it ends, ends. Don't continue to fucking because that same thing like if you have a baby mama, you still fucking your baby mama, but you Ooh. don't want to. Yes, that don't yes, make no yes. sense. Hold on, are you just jumping in all my topics? Hold on a second now. <laughs> I'm just all right, it don't make how sense. you feel about that? How do I feel about that? Yes, I agree with that because I feel like in most relationships, one person. It's very rare that you find two people that are on the same page emotionally in a relationship. Like both of them love each other equally, like each other equally. There's always one person that likes the other person more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Always. So I feel like what you said is right. One person might be okay with the breakup, like, shit, the sex was good, fuck it, might as well keep getting it. We don't get along that well in a relationship as a couple, but the sex has always been great. Boom, boom, fire! See, I've been in that shit. Et cetera. So, you know what I'm saying? If it ends up being a quote unquote friends with benefit, 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 it's a benefit. A friends with benefit situation, then one person, especially if it's someone that's like very emotional and things like that, Cancer. the sex. Hey, hold on. I'm now. a cancer. I'm talking for myself. Okay. I've been in that situation. Guilty, guilty. So, you know what I'm saying? You might end up in a situation where you are the person that just wants sex or you are the person that wants more than just sex. Either way it goes, one person always starts feeling more neglected mm-hmm. or like you're they're being used or taken advantage of and it turns into we were such great friends, but <laughs> now you're an asshole. Now y'all just really made me had an epiphany because I, I realized that I'm the asshole in this situation. I believe that it happened to me before. I believe yeah, it. Yeah. See, but I've I feel been, bad now. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad. Um, <laughs> I've been in a situation where I'm the one that wants more than than that person. Oh, that's honest. Oh, because I I would say like what five years Ooh. on like on I would say. One year of a relationship, and then the rest of the four years is just straight sex. Mm-hmm. And Hold on. Was the one year before or after the four years of just sex? Before. So the one year of relationship and four years of just fucking after the relationship just, just ended? straight sex. My God. To the point where I found out from a friend that they were going to get engaged, and I never knew. They even had a girlfriend. Oh, wow. So you was playing side piece. Not knowing. Okay. Do you feel like if you were knowing, you would have stayed in I mean, uh-huh. when I, I stayed uh-huh. after... You was an uh, unofficial. Listen, you I was, was an unofficial side piece. piece. <laughs> but the way he That's doesn't, he doesn't look episode. at it That's as because me and him had the conversation. Because even when I found out that he was supposed to, he it was a thought for him that he was gonna like propose to the girl, whatever mm-hmm. case may be, whatnot. I was still fucking him throughout the whole couple years. He told you he wanted to get. Engaged? He admitted to it because I because I asked because his friend told me, but his friend slipped up because it was like oh. we had a relationship where nobody knew anything. Uh, he nobody knew up. that we even was friends oh. at one point so it's like that's my your stuff. friend let's talk because we know each other we friends we went to high school whatever whatever and your friend slipped up not knowing he slipped up so, he snitched so when i directly. asked about it yeah you act, i asked about you like how you know that now you're thinking about the people Nigga, that don't know. ask me no motherfucking questions ask is it my true or not question. and he was like well yes true was a thought or whatever i said when the fuck did you ever have, get a girlfriend Ooh, see my side hoe days. Um, I found he told me directly that he proposed. No shit. <laughs> he told. See, that's no. a real one. I gotta find out. From hold on. Friend. No, 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 no. Well, he no, told no. You. Hold on. Wait okay. now. How he told me was he sent me a link to his Instagram that's a so I can watch the video oh, that's of him in the dis- middle of Times Square oh, that's proposing to his girlfriend that's that he was fucking on for the whole relationship. That's disrespectful. And I was just like, ooh, that's disrespectful. And then my whole thing about that is I'll though. This shit up. <laughs> <laughs> my whole thing about it though like i wasn't surprised i wasn't hurt by it i was just like oh shit so you plan on cheating on this bitch for the rest of her life Ooh. okay because even after he sent me to sent me the video months later he was still on some oh you coming to my city what's up can i see you when you come through yeah, i hate people like that and i'm like 
Wait, what? Like, you went, you saved up money, you bought a ring. You did this big display of affection in the middle of Times however square. many people. You had people taking pictures and video. Like, you had niggas Times set square. up. Yeah, nigga. You know what I'm Times saying? Square. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And he's a photographer, so you know, he had, like, his niggas out there, like, with his and shit. And I was just evidence. like... Exactly. And then my thing was, like, even after the fact, he still was... And I was just like, wait, so what... What do you plan on doing? Like, do don't hate the player, hate the game. That see, that's in that situation. I would, I always think about the same thing. Me personally, I I'm not blowing it. up nobody's spot. Point blank, period. Nah. But I found out though that me and his fiance have a mutual friend. So I was like, oh, child, because I am. Been in the same place. Maybe. No, maybe, 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 because I heard that she used to stalk my page. But that's another story. I, I respect. Like I respect that. So with. In a situation like that, if y'all was in in like the same room or place See, as his girl, what would y'all do? See, hold on, no, no, no. hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Is he there? Yeah. Oh shit, okay, that's so gonna be fun. Let me tell you. Yeah. How, right. across the room like, hey, let baby. me tell you how this. <laughs> so I got, I found out that we we're gonna be in the same place. Mm-hmm. He told me, "Don't hug me, <laughs> acknowledge me, but don't hug me." So you can't and be keep it moving. Mm. I said, "Who the fuck Ooh, talking to?" You? <laughs> he gave me instructions. <laughs> I said, "Who are you wait, talking to?" Wait, hold on, so hold mind on, you, no, no, wait, no, let me break this down, please. Okay, thank you, go thank ahead. You, oh Jesus, go ahead. So, did you hug him? Let me tell you what I did. So oh. I walk in and walk past everybody. Mm. So I, tell I go <laughs> where I'm supposed to go to my table, talking whatever. You come into my table now, and guess where he was sitting all night? At your table. Exactly. Where's his bitch? At the other table. Why exactly. she gotta be a bitch though? Because she's a bitch. Right. Anyway, you see, what did she you do see, to you? Look, look, you see. Where's the problem? See, okay, let Listen, me get on my soapbox. Stop it. No, I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna continue. Oh shit. How this night went, All right? So, mind you, I'm not paying no attention to you though. Mm-hmm. Doing what I need to do. Mm-hmm. I'm here for business. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. I'm in and I'm out. You decide you want to stand next to me because I ain't acknowledge your ass. Now you feel some type of way. Niggas, I did not boy. acknowledge you. Now you hugging on me. Okay, wait. I told you I want to break this down. Go ahead. So wait. So if 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 he didn't give you instructions, what would you have did? I would still walk past you. Why? Because if I know she's there, I'm not gonna be, and I'm not gonna do that. So you're a lawyer side bitch. No, but 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 I feel like if you don't say hi, you're making it hard. How? She know of you? No. She okay. know of me as like his, like a friend that went to high school with him. That's okay, it. so why wouldn't you say hi if that's a friend? It's crowded. I don't see you. She's a cancer. So if y'all don't, so you, you like walk mind past you, him, like where the door is, there's like like fifty tables. Mm-hmm. Everybody, standing. y'all have fun. Everybody mm-hmm. standing. I see his friend. I mean, his friend is like cool. All right, we all know what's going on. I'm walking past that whole entire crowd. But you wasn't close to their table. I'm walking past the whole entire crowd. So you was next to him. Yes, That's like when I walk, like, when hot. I walk. No, I'm not because when I walk in, I'm mm-hmm. mind you, I scope anywhere I go. I have to scope the place out first before I know, so I know what I'm stepping into. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm scoping. Like a I pay. I am a fighter, but I pay attention to what everybody's doing. So if I know there's a point where I can get past you without anybody looking to see if I'm really here, I'm gonna do that. And, and I've done. I watch when everybody look down on their phones, and I walk past. So you was pussy. No, I was not pussy. Because you snuck in. I didn't sn- listen. I walked in probably with my head high. If you didn't notice me, that's your problem. Obviously, he noticed because that bitch got up quick and came to my so table. So what did his girl do? Sat there on her phone the whole entire fucking night. I'm like, bitch, if my nigga's missing for two minutes, we have a problem. Two minutes? Come on. That's no matter where are you? Two minutes? You ain't tell me that you was leaving. For two minutes? It doesn't matter. It takes longer listen, than two minutes. Listen, if you're in the bathroom. gone, for, mind you, I was there for like two, three hours. Mm-hmm. You've been gone that whole two, three two, hours. Two, three hours. That's okay. That's a stretch. Well, you said two minutes. It doesn't matter. If you are if you move and don't tell me, well, not even tell me where you're going. <laughs> just tell me that you're going to, you just leave it. Yeah, he's a bad man. Whatever. You tell me that you're moving. Uh-huh. You're going to notice that, mind you, the whole crowd left with him. It's not just him. So she's the only one at she the table. She was at the table by herself on her phone, bro. Yeah. And I said, it couldn't be me. It couldn't. But mind you, I'm talking to everybody else but you. I still think you made it hot. I didn't make it hot. I did, I did my thing. Go about my business. She came back the next week. Did the same shit. And I'm just like, nigga, I really don't want to be around you. You're mm. annoying. So did you still mess with him after that? No? It got to the point where does he start talking about her. Oh. And oh. was like, oh, well, the relationship's not going like this. And, you know, she doesn't do like this what you do. And I'm just like, oh, no. Because, mind you, we don't do dates. We don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Go about our business. I probably won't talk to you for like two weeks. Two, three weeks. Hi, hello. 
How you doing? All right, cool. Yeah, how you do? All right, bye. Fellas, y'all got to stop doing that. That shit's corny. What? Stop talking about... That's stop what I'm pillow talking. I was, this is a topic for our show, but for partially ignorant. But if you got a side chick... Stop pillow talking with the side. Mm. That's what I'm saying. And, and especially during sex. That's your pillow. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Listen. No, no. She doesn't fuck me. That's like crazy. You. Nah, that's crazy. Baby, I'm fucking you right now. That's the only thing that matters. You think about your girl, though. At least you know he's still thinking about her. That ain't, not, that ain't got nothing to do with me. No, in the he's room. saying that because he's trying to make the girl feel better. But, but it's no, not making she me feel better. Because I really don't. And then you want to talk about, oh, because I always say, I'm. Side piece don't get her time today because I'll fuck around with him like that. I said side piece don't get her time today. I said, damn, we can't go to the movies. Damn, we can't even go out in public. But this was a joke though. This, this is not... a joke. He knows I'm fucking with him. Yeah, oh, okay. but some joke a l- has nah. a little bit of truth. Nah, it like it was like that in the beginning. After a while, like you just got. I was just over like, I'm, I'm, I'm over you okay. in total. I just like to fuck. You. Okay, I want to talk about something really quick because I've had my share of, of side piece experiences, <laughs> right? Experience. Because no, when when I was younger, I really was just like, I don't want to be in a relationship. Like, mm-hmm. if sex comes, it comes, or whatever. I'm really not trying to be tied on or nothing like that. I was in a situation where me and this guy met. We were both in an in involvement. Me and that, we both, those situations ended, right? Mm-hmm. We ended up, like, just being, like, real good friends. Like, we was, like, sharing war stories when it came to sex. Like, oh, yeah, she did this. Oh, yeah, she did this. Like, dumb shit. Not, like, no names or anything like that. You know, just random shit we talked about just dumb shit mm-hmm. so then one day like he kind of slid in my dms it wasn't like we're texting at that point like after a fact like after a while he slid in my dms on some oh let me tell you how beautiful you are what's your phone number we'll type shit. And i was just like we'll Nigga. you know so i was like all right whatever i'll take the bait see what you're talking about Shit. right we it was kind of stalling i guess he was nervous i don't know what it is but we were both in a space where the relationship would have happened you get me like Mm -hmm. we were both single we were not in any kind of relationship with anybody but it was just platonic at that point Mm -hmm. time down the line we both end up in a relationship mine ended and i was like shit i'm single if you still want to talk to me like a crazy person that's on you you're the one in a relationship not me right (laughs) And it ended up being on some shit option. like, well, I didn't even do all of that. He basically just told me that, you know, there's this girl that likes him and whatever. And then, lying. and then after a while, it became, oh, she wants me to be her boyfriend. And I was like, you lying. what are you telling me? That okay. <laughs> Why are you telling me that? We lived in two different cities, though. So it was like a long distance thing. I was like, Why are you telling me that? Okay, that's cute. Whatever. I let it rock. I was like, that's your business. It's not like I'm seeing you on a regular basis. No shit like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, pussy. So... Further down the line, it becomes, how are you? Mm. We start talking on a regular basis. Like, on an obscenely regular basis. Like, you get home from work and you're calling me. I'm talking to you through the whole night. Fall asleep on the phone. Wake up the next morning. Do, do that? I'm watching you get dressed. Girl, there's people out here trying to find romance in the world. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, me, I'm not taking it no way because I'm like, you're in a relationship. I'm securing the smash. That's what that is. <laughs> Okay, but after the smash, you're still doing it. Yeah, you have a distance. whole girlfriend, though, at this distance. point. You have a whole girlfriend at this when point. When he comes to see you, you know long distance. To. Really? Smash and long distance. So then there's a conversation that is being had where it's like, when we're both single, why didn't you make a pursuit? Because I didn't want to. Well, no. The response was, I felt like you were a fantasy. Like it was too good to be true. I didn't feel like... You would take it seriously because you know how I have been in previous relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like basically, like you know I'm a dog, so I don't think I'm gonna take you seriously, type of shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I felt like that was a cop out, personally. But I can also see where that like makes shit, sense. Shit, I got a question, but damn, I don't want to cut off your. No, nah, what's the question? Uh, do y'all believe guys? And I think some girls probably use this too. That line where. One person probably want to get in a relationship, and you use the line, "Yo, I'm trying to work on me right now. I can't get in a relationship." See, I hate when people just give excuses. That's how you feel. Bitch, I ain't trying to. Yeah, I'm, try, I'm trying to work on me right now. I'm trying to work I've on given me right that now. excuse. You have given that excuse. See, right? I've, you, see, you see, I've been given that excuse. You said that made me. Made me see, I was in a, I was in a relationship and given that excuse. Okay, go about your business. Dude, mind no, you, I, see, love, I, don't, I don't like that. That's why corny. I love you enough to let you go ahead and fix yourself. 
Yeah. Say that. Don't don't tell me that and you're trying to fix because I know personally you have issues and you mm-hmm. need to go fix yourself. If that's what you need to do, do that. All right. And then two two days later, can you come in my bed? No, well, you gotta fix yourself. You know damn well you come in. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. But then it became repeated and it's like, yo, I don't got time for this. Like every six months you wanna go fix yourself. You need a whole year. You know, okay, by to yourself. be honest, sometimes I, I I have used that line, and sometimes I I um sometimes it has been true. Sometimes that, it's been true. Sometimes <laughs> it's, it's been asshole. true. Sometimes it's been true. So sometimes it hasn't been. It's a cop out. So why yeah. did you use the line? When you didn't need to. When I didn't need to. Mm-hmm. No, not when you needed to. When you didn't. Why maybe you maybe you don't want to hurt her feelings too bad or something like that. You know, okay. well, I, we can work on it together. Yeah, what if she was supportive? supportive backbone. Like she was, yeah, like she wanted to backbone. help you grow. She wanted to be she there for you from the bottom and help you help you flourish into the man that you're supposed to become. No, if y'all want to have a real conversation about this, this is probably for a part two. To be honest with y'all, okay. because that is a deep conversation. It, 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 all jokes aside, because. <sighs> Ladies, <laughs> ladies, if a guy hits you with that, right? Mm-hmm. If a guy tell you, I'm trying to work on myself. Or a stud. Or, like Portland said, like she said, give you that line. And they might mean it, they might not. Don't gamble on it. Because if you hit them with the, let's work on it together. Nah, baby. We got this. I'm going to give you a motivation and go ahead, you can do it. Do Remind yourself to do that. Set a calendar, set a goal, set all of that. And have a great night. Because there's two sides to it. You could, the, the person might say, okay, fine, let's get in a relationship. And they might be in a dark place. And you might be like, damn, I wasn't really ready for this. Mm-hmm. And now you're hurting that person even more now, right? Mm-hmm. By leaving, leaving him or her or whatever you said, mm-hmm. right? So that's the serious and more mature side of it. So now let's get that side out of the way and get the jokes in. The childish side. Right. When I want to fuck other bitches. Exactly. <laughs> or I am fucking other bitch. You know what's funny? That happened to me before. Somebody broke up with me and their response, their reason for breaking up with me was, I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. So that was the response. Yeah, that's another you're not, one. You're that's not another good one. enough that's for another. your mother. <laughs> That's a dead No, one. I love his mother. Me and his mother get along great. So but his self. whole thing That's was... That's a good one. I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. Then bitch, Next, bye. Not even a month later, him and another bitch In all hugged up on social media at that. I was you like, what's see you, Lord? You hate him. You, what you good enough for her? All right. That's Y'all true, both hoes. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? That's, that's one thing. But let's say a situation like that happens. Would you slide into the side bitch role? No. No? No. Hold no, on no, a second. No. Hold on. Hold on. We've been talking about our roles as side bitches. Have you ever played a side, side nigga role? nigga. Yeah, man. Look, he sounds so Damn, disappointed. defeated. Yeah, I have. How was that? Was this intentional? Was this accidental? Did you know that you he were knew. a side nigga? He, he light skin. He might have known. He knew. I don't like messing with... I don't like messing with girls with boyfriends. Okay. Why not? Right? I just don't like drama. Okay. I don't like drama. I don't like... You and know girls what I'm are most likely to talk about their nigga problems. Nah, uh, nah, I'm not kinda, always. Not with me. Now, <laughs> now with me. Not with me. Is he an asshole. Nobody <laughs> don't want to talk to him about none of that. Nah, not with me. Nobody, cause, cause most of the times, if I'm like starting to talk to a girl, mm-hmm. or even if we're in a relationship, I don't want you to talk like negative about your ex. Oh, I was gonna say something else. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't want you to talk negative about your ex. Don't, don't do that. Okay. I'm not that. Kind what about of guy. the nigga she's that. with? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, talk negative about me if you want. No, no, the next as a side nigga, as a side dude. um, See, I don't want to hear that side dude. Sorry, you're not a nigga. Because I feel like if if I play the side bitch and you break up with your girlfriend and I ain't really trying to be with you, I'm leaving you too. Damn. So you're not a loyal side bitch. I ain't trying to upgrade a man because you're gonna give me a headache. That's one of my questions, (laughs) though. That's one of my questions. Do you feel like if he tries to be with you after break or however the situation ends, you're the side bitch? Do you feel like getting a promotion? Once a hoe, always a hoe. That means if I upgrade to man, you're gonna replace my position with another bitch. I don't got time. How you get him is how you lose him. Exactly. Not all the time. Not all the time. Ninety five percent of the time. Damn. Exactly. You really think that? Um. Yeah. (laughs) 
Excuse me. Yes, I, I know a lot of niggas. I deal with a lot of niggas on the daily. They host. But okay, I hear you saying that. But you know, some side bitches stand the test of time. Like they be there through relationship see? after relationship after relationship. See, I don't got some, time for that. Hold on. Some no. niggas have the same side. Hey, bitch first through. of all, let me cut both of y'all off right now intentionally and defend my side women. Oh Jesus! Y'all think some will side on this. So, Your side woman? <laughs> <laughs> I said side <laughs> women. <laughs> <laughs> Almost said itself. Let me stop. Go ahead. Uh, y'all think they don't want to be side chicks? Y'all think that I'm they not saying not that they okay don't. Okay with that position? I'm not saying that's what I said. Y'all think they're not playing that said. role on purpose? If you leave your girlfriend or y'all break up, I am not upgrading. I like my position and where <laughs> right. I'm at. Some I'm about side to say, chicks love their position. Listen, they want to be right If I there. only see you at three to five in the morning, baby, three to five in the morning is ours. Go. They got options. I got options. I can go. I got a boyfriend now. Listen to. Uh, 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 but then the nigga want to get upset when you get that a boyfriend. That is your problem. That's yeah, true. I, you happens. know what I do? I tell you, you got a whole bitch. Not just, not just the dude. Ladies too. Come on. What? Let's and keep the, it real. Okay. you get a girlfriend? Question though. If, 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 if. Boyfriend number two wanted a girlfriend? If, yeah. If, if, uh, if I get, if I Wait, have a girlfriend. what position are you in? Wait, no. If, as the boyfriend? He got a girlfriend. He's the boyfriend. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I got a side chick, mm-hmm. right? Well, no, no, no. If I'm, yeah, I guess if I get a side chick, I mm-hmm. get a girlfriend. Because she's not a side chick if you were single. It was no, just a chick you were smashing. No, if you're in a relationship, no, yeah. if you're in a relationship and then you get you're into still a relationship, side and chick, then right? she, you still fucking, she's a side chick. Mm-hmm. But she she didn't necessarily want it to be voted into that space, but she, she took it there. and she ride with it. She knew her position right? and she played it well. Right, but... Some of them want to be there. That's what I'm saying. The ones that literally are your side chick this through perks. relationship one, relationship two, relationship three, relationship four, and they done seen a test of time through all your relationships, and Listen. they're just on the sideline. Some like, chi- mm-hmm. Sometimes chicks get Valentine's Day gifts. Listen to me. On the 15th. No, I get mine on the 14th. Anyway, oh. <laughs> let me stop. Um, don't stop. Don't, don't get me. Don't make me start Listen. now. Because people Listen. Mind, the people Listen that to mind. Me. Listen to me. I am not staying through no relationship, relationship. Because mind you, I don't like sharing dick. I already got to share with one bitch. <laughs> I ain't share with a new bitch. Right. So, like I right, say, right. if she leave, I leave. Oh, so and you leave with the bitch you came with. <laughs> <laughs> the same bitch that I applied my position for and she was there. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're leaving together. Wow. So the so benefits gone, the employment bye. gone. Bye, <laughs> God. So the manager and the assistant manager, they gone. Listen, they I, I already got to share with one person. Mm-hmm. That means you about to try it, the new whole trial with the next bitch. And, mm, mm, I'm gonna have You're not, oh, okay. I'm not doing it. It's levels to the side chick, though. I'm not doing there it. There is side chicks that hold dudes down to the max. So, I've or, done that, or, and I'm tired of it. Or side dudes, too. Like, some mm-hmm. side chicks bail you out. This, that, and the third. You it, bail she, somebody out? She raising her hand right <laughs> now. She Listen, can't see her. I bailed out. I played for. I paid for sessions. I paid, but mind you, I get my money back. So I don't worry. Rapping sessions? Like All of that. Music sessions? Really? All of that. See, that's why I can't date these rapper niggas. I get my money back. <laughs> Damn, yo. I, was, I get my money back one way or another. You tripping. Even if it's, even if we got to go to executive suites and you pay for it. Oh, oh wow. One way or another. You right, because niggas hate. don't realize they pay for pussy at the end of the day. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then so, you want to tell me you're not paying for the room? Fuck what? You want to fuck me? Let's go. <laughs> If not, we can fuck in the car. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> See, I'm too tall to be fucking in the car. Listen, there's the car. ways. Dig when I out. was younger, but I heard that was bad luck, though. Like, you fuck in the car, yeah. your car gonna break down yeah. or some shit like that. I can walk on. <laughs> push, 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 the <laughs> push the front seat backwards, the both of them, and then you bend her over going forward. And How you know in the driver's seat or the passenger seat? No, in the back. Y'all go in the back. Mm-hmm. Y'all push the two. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. Oh, the front seat's forward. I was oh, thinking about the land. I was thinking about the no. other way. Oh, I said that doesn't work. No, yeah, you push those oh. forward and then you bend her over and then that you got more room all right there. To that's work. true. We need to say, change his name to the yeah, sex god. He just got all the tips and tricks in. <laughs> that, is, that is true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, I don't know. I'm. I'm but it's too sweaty. It gets too sweaty. Turn there. on the AC. It's too sweaty. Nigga, we ain't trying to have fog up the windows. Fuck yes. Titanic. I went in the windows are fogged up we're doing work (laughs) no that's too much because then somebody gonna know you're in the car (laughs) yeah no no Mm -mm. i'm not doing relationship after relationship no like mind you with that person Mm -hmm. i Ah, did a threesome with fuck what you talking about with the girlfriend no with With somebody somebody else with somebody else oh my goodness my he's a hoe it is what it is a whole different bitch i found well i found the girl not gonna lie though me and the person i was talking about we were looking for somebody to have a threesome with. And he had a whole girlfriend. And I was just like, 
Like in my head the whole time, I'm kind of like, how are you okay with this See? as a person? That's like, that's their how mentality. Would, no, how, how are, are you? you okay with this? <laughs> I'm getting a nut. The fuck you mean? I'm saying, and I'm getting half a bitch. I'm not emotionally invested in this. Exactly. And so the sex was we're great. Enjoying the three, mind you, I'm the one who gave him his first three. So I'm gonna ah, give my props for that. Hold on, hold on. Hey, so hold on. So would you have dated this guy if he broke up with his girlfriend? Fuck no. <laughs> no, be honest. This I is. Wouldn't. This is pointless T shadow talks. talks. Yes. Okay. Shadow says no because I know exactly what you're doing with me. You're going to do with somebody else. I'll get that. See me feel like somebody. And I've already dated you before, so no. (laughs) Oh, so you already dated him. We didn't date. I feel like say I have the good good and it's it might come back. So we might want to try a thing. I'm joking. You're stupid. But (laughs) in our real life, like at one point, I did feel like I wanted a relationship with him. Mm Mm-hmm. But the day that he asked my permission to have sex with somebody that wasn't his girlfriend while he had a girlfriend, I was kind of like, but we it. Like, tripping, you are asking my permission. To go fuck another bitch when you got a whole bitch at home. Yeah. So I was kind of like, my my whole thing was, I felt like he was a person that didn't know what he wanted. He was okay with playing it safe. Because remember what I said about the whole, I was a fantasy. He didn't feel like I would take him seriously type of thing. Mm-hmm. At that point, when we had that conversation. I wanted to be in a relationship with him. And... Not to talk about just men. I was in a relationship with a woman before who I played side piece to type of thing. But mm-hmm. it didn't start out as that. It started out as, oh, my God, you write poetry. Oh, my God, you're so cute. Oh, my God, this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Exactly. Can, I was young. Can I pick your mind? Go ahead. Go ahead. Because it's in the same mm-hmm. vein of what we're talking about right now. So now, he has a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You want to be in a relationship with him. Mm-hmm. And he has a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. What is that? What is that? That train of thought. What is? What is making you tick that way? No, 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 no. I mean, I've had that thought. No, I didn't want to be his girlfriend while he had a girlfriend. There was a space in time when we were both single, and we had a conversation about being. I started to come because I'm a cancer. I'm emotional. I'd be wanting to get in relationships and shit sometimes. That's true. And. I posed the question to him, like, "Do you think that this will work?" It was a long distance situation. Yo, you proposed. Okay, go ahead. No, I posed the question. I didn't oh. propose shit. <laughs> and I said you to him, you know, <laughs> ex- say it again, yeah? And I was like, you know, do you think a relationship will work with... I wasn't even thinking about, like, anything else. It was just because of long distance because I know he liked the fuck. So I was like, I see you once every six months or once every three months. That's so I can't do long distance relationship. Continue. Because you like to fuck? And six months what? What? Well, that was, what's, that's well, not a relationship. I mean, he worked for JetBlue, so he could have came more often. Great. It could have been way more often Better than come that. more often because six <laughs> months we're not in a relationship. No. We had sex, like FaceTime sex and stuff I, like that. No. It was a lot. Comes you know? more when I see him less. No. Hey, no. Barty. <laughs> nope, I'll come the same. <laughs> same amount. I'm done. I'm done. Same amount because you know why? I was fucking other bitches in between that I six months. Hate him. Oh my gosh. At least he's honest. And Fish screw up to him say like he was upset, like bitch, <laughs> you not here. Fuck is <laughs> like I'm not gonna say But here. no. What the I'm fuck you want me to do? Be celibate. Like bruh. <laughs> we can have FaceTime sex. Like you set up no. the camera and you fuck masturbate. Is FaceTime while sex? I masturbate. Long we masturbate. What the fuck is FaceTime we come FaceTime together, sex? you tell me not to come Stop. when you don't want me to come what and you make me hold it. That's exciting. The fuck no. Maybe choke myself. No. no. Rub the clit really Thank hard. Thank you. I'm happy. Get the vibrator. A, a woman is right here agreeing with she me young. because no, no she's young. No. Nothing. Fuck no. that. Oh, hell now no. she young. <laughs> when I said it, oh, now she no, fuck no, no. no hell, long this relationship. Listen, I, I hate when niggas trash. send me videos and I'm stalking they dick. That don't do nothing for okay, me. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate getting dick pics. Not dick even. videos even worse. If I'm not in a relationship with you. If I'm not attracted to you in that, like I said, I have to have fever for the person. Mm-hmm. At the same time, though, unsolicited dick pictures are kind of like, eh. Now, if we're in a relationship, no, like, I'm we gonna... are we are rocking together. Like, we are, it's us. Still no. Then it's okay. Still no. Because I'll be on Facebook. I said okay, not Listen, all the way yes. I was in a relationship okay. on FaceTime. He's like, you see this? I'm just like, Ew, no. I put, <laughs> no. I put my phone down and just walk away, bro. I would have. I was like, yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And you my know, phone, it's dark in my room, so you don't even know if I'm at the camera or not. I'll let you finish, and you done? Okay, right, no, cool. no, 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 I'll no, no, go no. on to sleep. You have a nice day. Mm-mm, no, okay, see that's weird. I, mm. If I'm talking, you were having a full blown conversation, then you flip the camera, you stroking like bitch. Yeah, what? Yeah, no, you no. was stroking to what I was about <laughs> fucking peanut butter. <laughs> like, Your voice like, turned sense. him on. I don't care. See, I, that is weird. I'm I hate with you. that shit. 
It Long pisses me off. Hey, so trash. I'm gonna ask you a question. One of my best friends asked me when I expressed this to them. Are you mm-hmm. a lesbian? I'm bisexual. <laughs> Leading more towards male or female? Because <laughs> I don't like. Hey, strictly dickly. I'm joking. I like dick more than pussy. You sure? Yes. Okay. I now do. I have a question. I, I said on- she loves giving head. If you're, give head if you're on or FaceTime dick, with mean. a girl and she flips the camera around and she playing with nah, her poop, you know what? Not happening. Nah, bro. I think I think the last girl ruined it for me. Really? Yeah. She what, ruined it for me. What did she do? Oh, the faces. Is sign? I don't know my sign. But sign I'm already matter? it matters, oh. bro. Because I'm already emotional. Mm-hmm. I don't like dealing with people's emotions. Mm-hmm. Now, if I love you until death of me, blah blah blah, I will have to suck it up and deal with it. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I ain't even like you like that. And you, we in there. Wait, hold on. Is this the same girl from episode yes. four? Jesus. Um, no, no, mind a poor no, no, girl, no. So. The, I don't even remember what the fuck you talking about. But um, the girl, just, if, I think I was talking on the phone with you. I was on the phone with him. Uh-huh. I asked him about the camera. And she just wouldn't back the fuck up. Like, in my face. I was like, bro, I, chill out. I'm don't, to, don't, don't incriminate me. Put hold me on. In story. Is she a feminine woman? Yes. Are you attracted to women of masculine sense? No. Oh, okay. So you like girly I'm not girls. A fucking nigga. Um Ooh. Yeah, but it's just like you are you're too emotional for, and then she always said, Oh, you're so negative. I'm not negative, you just don't like what I'm saying to you. Ooh. You truth hurts. It's okay. We all go through it. But every time I say, You're so negative, no, you're too fucking emotional. Shut the fuck up. You me? And she would hang up the phone. I'm just like, bro, I'm not calling you. <laughs> and she'll call back. You not for what? You you don't want to talk to me. What the fuck am I calling you for? Say that again for the people in the back. That's why. It's, that's why men laugh sometimes when uh, girls become lesbians and say men ain't shit. Okay, y'all, no, we, we, ain't wait, 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 no. Let's finish. Let us finish. Oh, let me finish. Let me finish. Exactly. Yeah. See. I ain't shit. See, we y'all split down the middle. Because it's true. Y'all be like, men, y'all ain't shit. Y'all cheat. Y'all do this. Y'all do that. That's why I'm going to go mess with a girl. That doesn't make sense. But my thing is, females, we, they love harder already. So it's like that. We're not talking about the ones that love everybody and they just. See, like you know, I said, my emotions, I can't. If you going to tell me I'm negative all the time because you don't like what I have to say, then baby, we don't need to Bounce, be Bounce, bitch. But no, I was about to jump down your throat about the whole why. <laughs> why. Women turn lesbian. Nobody turns lesbian. They okay. had a little thing already. They turn gay. There was okay. a lot of inkling in there. Oh, you know, uh, let me tell you something. No. All, all women. No, no. You know all what? women. Fuck that. Take all out women. your phones. Y'all got your phones? All women. I need y'all to go gay. to this website, right? Because there's a study that shows that everyone is a little bit gay. Yeah, I believe that. You believe that? Yes. I'm on live. I can't. You can't. <laughs> I hate it. Fuck him. your live. <laughs> I am a little bit gay. I like, um, uh, what's some call it music? What's I'm, that? I'm clipping that, this that out rave. and making a fucking meme about I'm this. That, that <laughs> rave uh, kind of music. Not rave. What, what is it, man? Work this pussy. Work this pussy. Work this pussy. Yes. That this bounce pussy. shit. That bounce. Bounce yeah. shit? What does that have to do with being gay? Yeah, he's man, he's talking about the, the You like house music? You like voguing? The that Vogue music. music. That shit's You be hard. trying to death drop? No. <laughs> that ain't gonna break his knee. <laughs> you duck walking out here? You no, know, that's that, the, he, he enjoys the music. So I guess this, he says work this makes pussy a from, from Tiana Taylor. Work that's this pussy. Work, work this. I, so what is, hold on. How does that make you a little I bit don't know, gay? I'm just being funny. Come on. It's not funny, on. though. Yes, it is. No, oh, it's Jesus. not. See, that's why we need guys in here. We need no, it's guys. not funny. It's actually Wait, ignorant oh, because that's he's, whole, he's a part. He's, this is not motherfucking partially oh, ignorant, though. This, this is part- part- pointless talks. Partially ignorant. Shadow, shadow team. talks. <laughs> Boy. But, no. but my show's a little ignorant. This too, is so. partially shadow. Partially <laughs> shadow. <laughs> partially shadow. Pointless tea. Talks ignorant. There you go. Pointless tea t- ignorant, ignorant pointless tea talks. That's it. There you go. Ignorant pointless tea talks. That's the name of the show. That's it. We Y'all are ridiculous. So I want to backtrack a little bit. See, see. Uh, oh no, I can't mention my live because I. No? Yeah, we don't no. do the live shout outs on here. No, we don't. No. No. Because it, 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 it cuts off the conversation. But shouts out Tiff Tiff. All right? Shouts out Tiff Trin. She said it is funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is she a heterosexual cisgendered woman? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what she is. I, I ain't in people pants, like y'all say. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right, so what's the next topic? Come on. The next topic is... I want to talk about that... Um. Uh, oh, she's bi, actually. Oh Thank really? You. Oh, you should come on um this show called Pointless Talk to. Where's she from? She, I think she's Jamaican. What she look like? I think Tiff is Jamaican. Tiff um, do you do, you, do you interview talks? after? She paints. Yeah, sure. I think I showed y'all her thing. One I want time. somebody to paint me a new Chi down. 
Oh, she said nudes. You, you heard that, Tiff? Nudes. I think I showed you her stuff before. I need you to get all the curves. Yeah. Just, okay. Not the creases, though. You're stupid. <laughs> yeah, she's fire. She said, okay, she's down. Lit. Yep. All right. Tim okay. Brad, she got natural afro puffs. She short? Oh, uh, twinsies. She got a little booty. Little, little booty? No, I don't no, like no, no, fat no, she ass. Got a, no, no, it's, it's fat, but I'm saying. You they know got the I'm cups saying? underneath it, like yeah, you can crease yeah, it. Not, yeah, it's not. Girl, they just, just out here just exposing you, girl. Now, how her titties look, though. Because nowadays small, everybody got that I'm fake. sick of you. Nowadays everybody got that fake booty, so it's like the real booties now. Topic, please. Is she chocolate? Nah, she's not. But oh, Jesus Christ. She's mm. bad, though. She's bad. She's I, bad. Like, I like chocolate. Um, I like dark, I'm deep chocolate. Y'all. Dark, deep chocolate? Yeah. Here you like go. shade color and darker. Here Black and a berry sweet of juice. Yes. Here, Tupac. <laughs> 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 okay, this is completely left field. Mm. But we were talking earlier about, you know, taking care of our stepchild and <laughs> taking care of hey. the spouse. They neglect me all the time. Now, my thing is, let me roll up for this one. Oh Jesus! It's about so to get real the heck question with is: Let's say you're married. We're not even gonna talk about. We're not even gonna talk about. You talking about my mama? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Christ. The biological one or me? The Hold biological on. One. Oh, okay, we're not gonna talk about baby daddy, baby mama, boyfriend, girl. We're talking about spouse. Like you and a person are married, and okay, y'all have a child together, or there's a child that you have from a previous relationship. Whatever the case is, mm-hmm. right? Do you well? Actually, I shouldn't even say that because if you have a child from a previous marriage, your spouse should consider them your child. Mm-hmm. Point blank, period. Now, my question is: Do you put the child first, or do you put your spouse first? Hold on. Backstory: The question came about because I was looking at something online, and the conversation was, "I feed my children before I feed my husband," mm-hmm. because I saw my mother serve my father fa- serve us before she served him. Mm-hmm. So that was the context of the conversation. Now it goes deeper than just food. I'm asking as far as trust and conversation and believability. Like, do you believe that the spouse should come first or the child? I think kids should come first. Offer. How do you feel? As why? Why? Elaborate. Well, I want to get to that though. I want to get mm-hmm. to that. Okay. How do you personally feel? Your father. How do you feel about that? I don't really care. No, you have to have some kind of stance on it. Like, okay, say about food. You're in a relationship with someone. They're cooking for the family. Everybody's there. Your kids are there or whatever. Who gets served first? Is it the father or the children? See, I'm I'm different. I'm raised different. I'm a Jamaican. I was born in Jamaica. Okay. So, wait, hold on. I have to give that backstory because so, that, that's what it is. So, it's like... Can I get if, that if, afterwards? Hold on. So, you say everybody... Okay, so... Because she gave her matter. reason. To me, it doesn't matter. So as a Jamaican, as you're being raised. Because, because if if it's a family thing, we all there. So her mom is there. Her father is there. Stuff like that. I'm going to honestly want her to feed her parents first. Before her children. Maybe. Because the parents is, is older. That's your that's your parents. They older. No, we're it's not like, talking about old people. We're talking you know about you in your 30s and your children or whatever. Your girlfriend is however old. Y'all there having mm. a gathering at the house. It's just the four or five of y'all. Okay. okay. I don't she mind cooks my dinner. kids getting e- eaten first. I don't mind. You don't mind? No. That's my kids. Like as as adults, we could hold our hunger longer than than kids, right? So, um, I don't mind. I honestly don't. Shadow, what's your take on that? Why did Why do you feel like the kids come first? And that's wait before you go. A kid when when a, when a kid finally tells you they're hungry, mm, they've been holding that shit. They've for been a holding minute. it for yeah. a while because they that's, all they do is play and all they do is running around. So when they finally tell you, hungry. I'm hungry, for about they've been, six hours. <laughs> they've been holding it for a while. You know, they barely eating that back. <laughs> I right. mean, for me, um, kids should always come first because they are part of you. Actually, they're growing and learning based off of you. Mm-hmm. And they need nurturance. They need attention. Mm-hmm. And however long you've been with that person, I'm probably sure they got enough attention and they can split it. Wait, but the flip side to that coin is mm-hmm. what you said, learn behavior. Mm-hmm. Someone would say, well, you're, learn- you're teaching the kid to be disrespectful to the father How by be- not feeding the father first. That wouldn't so be you're- disrespectful. At the end of the day, your kids come first. Somebody said to me, somebody, because I had that discussion, and it was like, you can always make more kids, but you can always get another spouse. Right. So what you're saying doesn't make cool sense. Child. Yeah, it that's It contradicts true. in itself. Hey, chinks. Yeah. So I, I feel as if kids should come first because 
if that other person decides to walk away, whatever you have, all you have is your kids. In certain situations, In kids certain can situation, walk away too. Kids can walk away as well. Yeah. But if they're at a young age, mm-hmm. mind you, everything starts young. They whatever they see is. I don't think it's disrespectful if you feed your kids first before you feed your husband. He's still gonna eat. Yeah. He can take- just wait or feed his fucking self. I think in most households, though, in, in most households that was raised in the Christian household, or not just Christian, I think just the religion household, period. I think that's where that house. comes from. It's like in the Bible, it tells you, like, the Uh-oh. man is the head of the house. Right? Yeah, the was- woman? Yeah. Like, Tell him again, so. please. See, yeah. I agree with that. And back to something that you said about, you know, making more children and things of that nature. I actually broke up with someone behind that conversation mm-hmm. because I was in a relationship with someone and we, I don't know how, I, I guess, you know, I was young and I felt like I was in love and this was the one. So we're talking about family and children and things. And this conversation was posed because he comes from, well, the people that raised him were very religious, mm-hmm. right? They weren't able to have kids, so they raised him. And he always felt shunned in a way because the husband and wife were so in sync and he felt left out kind of like not even like I'm not their child, but like she'll serve him first. She'll make sure he's good before she took care of the child type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And he, despite his insecurities regarding that, Mm -hmm. he adapted that mentality and he feels like the spouse should come first because the Bible says, you know what I'm saying? Now my take on that is, Maybe it's because I didn't come from a two fam two parent household. Why mm-hmm. I feel like you know, Can't fuck you that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My thing was like, my mother made sure me and my brother were good all the time. Mm-hmm. Like no matter who she was in a relationship, no matter what, she made sure me and my brother was taken care of because we are her priority. Even if your children leave. Nothing can change the fact that your DNA is running through their veins. Mm -hmm. Even if they emancipate themselves, even if they run away from home, even if they do any of that, nothing in the world can change that this is your child, your parent. Especially if they look like you. You, Even if they don't, it's your DNA. That's my take on it. So people always say take care of home. That is home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you teach your children respect, teaching them to feed their children before their parent is not going to, you know what I'm saying, overrule respect because at the end of the day you better listen to your daddy Mm -hmm. you better listen to your mother you know what i'm saying it's not necessarily i'm feeding my child you can can see both sides of it you can see both sides of it but i think using the food aspect Mm -hmm. is the wrong argument because you can see where okay if you don't teach a child to respect the father respect the mother Mm -hmm. As the head of the household, then you have these kids that talk back. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, mom. This, that, and the third, right? Mm, you, you have those. <laughs> what race so, are they? So, so you have to. Which part I mean, come nowadays, from? It nowadays, don't even matter what nowadays race. it really don't. Nowadays, yeah, it don't matter what race. I told you. Like, anyways, this is why I'm moving track, back to Jamaica and having no, my children. No, even no but I was, the, the, when I when I stopped myself just now, I was gonna say a Jamaican story, but I was like, forget it. But. Back in the day, we wouldn't be on a bus playing cartel oh, lyrics about Pum Pum and this, that, and the third next to old you knew ladies. Better. But these kids nowadays, that's what they're doing. They don't yeah. Care. You know? Slack, no. Right. But to get back on track, when they say in the Bible, it tells you men is the is the head of the, the household and, and this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. They forgot to also say in the Bible, it says, but but if anyone does not provide for his relative, especially for the members of his household he has denied the faith and is worse uh, he is worse than an unbeliever mm-hmm. look you at understand? you looking up scripture <laughs> uh, if you go by the bible if you believe in that because mm-hmm. that's where that comes from honestly that's where that teaching comes from mm-hmm. right so I, I can see both sides of it right? now i feel like if if i'm gonna speak from personal experience um, if there is a child out, outside of the marriage, uh, outside of the marriage or whatever, um, respect goes both ways. You get what you give. In my personal opinion, you get what my you bad. give. So if you give me disrespect and you give me the side eye and you get, if I'm growing up with that, that's all I'm going to know. Right. That's a So that's behavior. exactly what you're going to get back. Now, the fact that I'm giving back to you, now you want to act like you 
oh well you're disrespecting me well that's what you taught me that's all you did to me so that's exactly what you're going to get back now when the person that you're related to is their blood is running through you has a problem but always picks the side of their spouse and say well you're wrong and you're this and blames your actions on your father or your mother that makes no sense Mm -hmm. because i wasn't raised with that other person i have a question is the relative a religious person um do they believe that they're a religious person yes okay now this goes back to the whole honor your spouse and then also honor your mother and father because Mm -hmm. at the end of the day if this person the step parent is not your mother or father technically they're in a position to be looked at as such Mm -hmm. you get me so speaking from a caribbean experience y'all pick me if you stay in a picnic place so regardless, the Bible that said don't provoke your children? Yes, oh, it Jesus is. Christ. Okay. Yes, true. it is. That's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. <laughs> Honor your mother and father, but also do not provoke your children. That should be the title. We're going to have a bunch of titles for the show today. <laughs> do all not I'm provoke saying. your children. All yeah, I understand that. But even in that same vein, right? Let's say a situation happens between step parent and child. No, no. Right? And. The child tells the parent, and the parent chooses not to believe the child. Mm-hmm. Right? I feel like on a more sensitive subject, that happens a lot. Whether it be like something trivial. That's a whole show. I in feel itself. like if that happens, it's because they are fear of losing losing that spouse. What about the fear of their child not being okay? That's the least. Well, I would say for the people that choose their spouse over their child, that's the least of their problems. Hmm. Because it also goes back to because I I watch a lot of sad ass movies and shit and I see this in so many like Loretta Devine I feel like plays so many roles where she's in a position where either she was abused mm-hmm. or her children was abused because she was being abused and it's a lot of like mind fuck going on you know what I'm saying I feel like people that are in a situation that allow someone else to abuse their children that is something that. I shouldn't necessarily say the child should blame them, but at the same time, if a child it's a child, mm-hmm. they don't know better. They feel like their elders are supposed to protect them. Hey, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. That and is I your feel job. Like, I feel like if you they My- were to tell you and you do nothing about it, it becomes normal for them. Mm-hmm. Now, then it becomes more, well, I can't come to you about anything because yeah. you won't mm-hmm. do anything. And then they're going to seek outside help. And then when you seek attention. outside help, it becomes a problem in your household. Yeah, yeah but... I mean, my in, job as a child is to be a child. Nothing more. Go to school I didn't, and get good grades. I didn't <laughs> ask to be here. Ooh. You understand what I'm saying? Seriously. Mm-hmm. Now, once you reach 18, quote unquote, you, you, you know, you've grown. You've grown. You've so you grown. Can, yeah. See, I, I say that to segue kind of into the whole men in power in churches abusing their power. And taking advantage of. Oh, t- you see why I don't go to church? You try to have us here for two hours because I don't go to church. This is. This is <laughs> I, one reason why I, that's me i don't go to church well i'm saying this because of the whole thing with ariana grande i mean i know it's a little bit that old was disrespectful. but did y'all hear that this man made this half-ass apology about he did not realize that he was grabbing her bitch breasts? you know what a damn titty feel like okay then and my thing is this poor Wait, girl hold on, hold on. I feel, can we get some jokes off <laughs> no quick? no you don't know what a titty feel there's like funny there's nothing funny hold about on, this. but you can't tell on, me right. that you can't we go get some jokes her, no. t- her chest might be no. small she might be no. shaped as a 12 year old boy Son, she, her, my man no. reached around <laughs> <laughs> and was petting Shorty it. Shorty ain't that wide. Petting it. Shorty is not that wide for you to put your arm all the way around her. On a whole and titty. And got it on the side of the fat part of the boob. You know that little fat. You know board. what a titty <laughs> feel like. Boob. He got it right there. Son. Y'all should see him cupping his Come titty on, right son. now. <laughs> you can't tell me you don't know what that is. And you, know and you petting it the whole time. And you know what happened? I feel like he already had it there. So he had to commit. He was like, shit, I can't move it right now. No, fuck I'm, that. I would have just moved my whole hand. Had to commit. No, fuck that. Come on, Biz. <laughs> <laughs> he said he, he don't to, want no parts of this. He had to commit, Biz. No, nah, listen. Nah, he nah. came out and said he did not realize that he was touching her <laughs> breast. Oh, fuck, yeah, my I feel like this man done touched enough titty in his life to know what the fuck a titty feels like. Right? But off that subject, you got your jokes off. Right? This happens way too much in church. My issue is, though. I enjoy no damn On choir. Twitter. None of that. 
after this shit popped off and they were showing the gif and everything and everybody was showing the pictures and everything, dog, it broke my heart to see how many women were saying there's nothing wrong with this. You're making this smutty when it's really? not. You're sexual. Yes. What? You're saying like you're sexualizing this. Me. This is normal in the black church. You Which don't know black how- church? You see, you just lost their ass. You know what I'm saying? When I say I read that shit, and I was just like, that's why I made it a topic because I'm like, y'all put so much faith and so much like y'all look up, y'all worship these niggas. Like the Bible says, if y'all want to go by the good book, it says, don't worship any false God. Don't put any false God before me. So that means a man. It means jewelry. It means labels. You know what I'm saying? So y'all sitting there putting so much faith in this man. He is groping this poor and her face shows you that she's uncomfortable i'm pretty sure the girl is leaning awkward as shit my my question to y'all is y'all surprised no no i'm not though but that's the problem because there are people like me there's people like shay there's people like you know others who like they see the fuckery and they're like dog i don't want to be a part of that like me personally i can go to church i have no problem going to church i have no problem receiving the word i can go to church in my living room i can go to church anywhere god wants me every day it's just the institution that this building that you have built with all of our money. Yes, go us. We're building the up the temple. community. You know what I'm saying? The body is a temple. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I walk this, in it every day. This this <sighs> institution, this place, you put so much faith in it. And the person that you have on the podium is the deliverer. This is the person. This is the messenger, right? This person is, he's getting the word directly from God. He's and buying a, Bentleys with my money. <laughs> he yes. is delivering the word straight from God to us. We have to give faith to him. So you see him abusing people in the church and y'all don't say nothing. Somebody comes to no, you as an adult. No, they said the Lord is going to make it, going to show him it, the in way. A weird, or in a weird, your dress was too short. You tempted him. But listen, in a weird way, this ties back into what y'all was talking about, which is like the parents yes. choosing other people yes. over, you know, the the kid. Because mm-hmm. even in the church, that happens. Mm-hmm. It happens you know? a lot, which is sad. The pastor, yes. the, 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 the pastor be in molesting these kids. And, yes. And these White kids churches, go tell. Spanish, yeah, all of them. The Catholic churches, the kids that go tell the parents and the parents wouldn't do nothing so about it. he would it, not do such a right? thing. That is yeah. the pastor. He's a word of God. Shut right. the fuck Listen, up. Th- hold on. There's that hand, but there's also some of them that would say, this is the Lord's work. Because the they Lord's feel- work is telling you to molest me? Listen, they have, honestly, no. to you that doesn't make sense. No, to me it, that doesn't make sense. And it we, happens what, what, though. No, what they would do is, because in my little YouTube dive deep hole, black hole <laughs> mm-hmm. stuff, what they rabbit would hole. do is, rabbit hole, what they would do is if, if the priests get caught, mm-hmm. they would just move the priest to another country. They wow. would move the priest to another state. They would just move the priest around. He doesn't get, get penalized for he it. He doesn't get penalized for it. And what wow. they would do is say, oh, pray for him. Right? And he just disappears. Yeah, I just pray for him. He just disappears. He's going through hard times right now. He's taking right? some time to work on himself. The Lord is working through him. They right. find some kind of way to glorify it and make it sound like it's not as disgusting as it is. And they don't think about the children that have been affected by this. And they wonder why when it happens to kids and they turn out crazy and they get talking about it's a mental health issue. You know, and... I don't like the word crazy because I feel like people use it incorrectly to specify things that they don't necessarily identify with, right? So you'll call someone crazy because they have an emotional reaction to something that you personally did not experience or some kind of mental processing, right? Now, okay, on the same subject, right? You have a girl or boy in church, right? Pastor or whoever is molesting this child. Mm -hmm. They have, you know, Wednesday youth service, Thursday choir, too much, too much Saturday time. practice or whatever. Sunday is the actual church day, you know. And the pastor is pushing this person up in the light. You know what I'm saying? This person is head choir girl, head choir boy, oh, right? Man. They feel like I am doing the Lord's work. I am chosen by the pastor. I am chosen to pastor. be molested to become the lead fucking singer in the choir. Oh, wait. Can I switch gears for a second? Go ahead. Damn. You see how we packing so much content. <laughs> um, I, I, Again, the rabbit hole. Uh, I don't even know how to to say Just this, say but it. what what the, the say on the same topic, right? Mm-hmm. So these kids that's getting molested in these camps and the, these church camps uh-huh. and stuff like that. Oh, that's the best one. Right? When they take them out the church and take them right. on trips away from the parents. Right. So the people they're saying that the people that's doing the molesting, mm-hmm. they're gay. 
I want to know how you feel about this because this is this was deep when 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 they presented it to me. It was like the people that was doing the molesting, they're clearly gay. The ones that's doing it to the boys or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're gay, but they justify it by saying that hey, this guy that I'm giving this kid that I'm giving head to, he's probably a gay kid anyway. The fuck? Okay, my take on that is this. That is that is wow. Hold on. I feel like they target... Some of them might be gay, but I don't feel like they're all gay. I feel like some of them might use it as a power struggle. But that's not your job to... Hold on, hold on. That's hold on. crazy. Son. Hold on. I feel like they use that as a form of a power struggle because, no offense, but I feel like most men want to feel dominant. Okay? They want to feel like they're in charge. They want to feel like they are in a position of power. So even though you have a whole congregation following you, the men have to follow you. Because, you know, you go to church, it's a bunch of women in church, mm-hmm. Right? from experience and from seeing because you know a lot of men for some reason don't go to church right so you have these what, men really? yeah especially caribbean men what i've seen a lot of situations a lot of people where Man, some of the, the wife girls in church the go wife ahead. yeah but you were younger when you saw that you go to church now yeah okay i don't, I don't go to church now for 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 reasons which okay. we all know that i'm not a religious person okay uh, you know what i'm saying but on the same topic though you have the men in the congregation where you want them to follow you too. You rear them from their young, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to use the excuse that they're already gay. How do you know that? You know what I'm saying? You might have corrupted this child. Mm-hmm. You might have made this child experience something that they've never thought of before. And maybe mm-hmm. they enjoyed it. Maybe they feared it, whatever the case is. I personally feel like sometimes maybe the pastor is gay. Maybe. On another hand, I feel like it's a power struggle or, or, it's something that they know is so shameful that they will not express to anyone else. So it'll be their secret. So they won't get outed. So they mm-hmm. won't get snitched on, basically. Because the society that we live in, homosexuality, even if it happened to you by force and not by choice, it's your fault. A lot of people get raped. By society. Yes. Saying. A lot of people get raped and they don't come out because they know that society is going to say it's your fault. You put mm-hmm. yourself in that situation, right? Mm-hmm. As a little boy... Right. You hear all these stories about, oh, the pastor is this great man. He's a pillar in the community, whatever, whatever. You know that if you tell your parents or anybody else, listen, pastor pulled this penis out and made me suck it. The pastor sucked my penis. You know what I'm saying? They're going to think you're a liar because this man is he is he's the deliverer. He is the messenger. He would never do that to the children. He's supposed to protect the children. There's a priest that right? got away with raping over molesting over 100 kids. Because of probably something like this. But also, keep in mind, we're talking about this from the standpoint of a little boy now. You know what I'm saying? What's worse in the Bible than any other sin? The way they look at it, homosexuality. Isn't that like the greatest sin as far as everyone else looks at it? Like, Mm -hmm. most people, listen, you can lie all day. You can teeth. You can cheat on your wife. You can have children out of wedlock. You can kill. You All of these things you can do. But it looks like in most people's eyes... If you're gay, oh, that's it. Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, my God. He's going to burn down the whole world. Like, you're going to, you know what I'm saying? So you teach these children these things, and it's fear, and it's shame why they don't come forth. But now it's a situation where it's a grown man and such and a little boy. They're going to switch it and feel like, if I tell them this, they're going to think I did this. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I feel like it's probably safer for them if they go after a little boy rather than a little girl. Mm-hmm. Because... A little girl, they might get the the argument. Oh, your dress nah, was too nah, short. Nah, nah, nah. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. No, it's, it's no, nope, it's the same. It's the same. It is the same it's for same. people who like us who have sense. Yeah. Yes, nope. but I feel like those people who are preying on children, there's something wrong with them. Like mm. pedophilia is real. She pedophilia is, is real, and nasty. we're not even talking about the people who cheat on their wives with the other women in the congregation. Y'all just some hoes. Y'all don't know how to contain it. That's different. It. Y'all but adults. Children, though, when you take children into the equation, you take them away from their parents. You take them to these church camps. To these, oh my gosh, we're going Whole camping in the state. woods. You're crossing state lines. Exactly. Homie. Oh, we're gonna do cool things. Let's play a game. Let's have a drinking game. I'm the cool pastor. We're gonna do all this fun see, stuff. Stabby, see, that's why sometimes I'm so split in the. You know, I can't. Split do in this. the middle. It's time to go. I got. <laughs> A flight to catch pointless <laughs> uh pointless tea shadow talks uh ignorant partially <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah it's i feel like on that topic it's it's based on the person but i feel like either way they're all sick you're you're That's preying nasty. on children whether it's a boy or a girl you're sick and i feel like me personally i don't have children 
So I can't necessarily say, but I feel like in my heart of hearts, if my child comes to me and tells me, Bro, I'm burning down everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? And then the thing about it is, though, there's so many situations where people know that this can fuck up a relationship mm-hmm. and they might lie about it. Right? So even if nothing happened, they might lie about it. But my thing is, if your child okay. dislikes the person that much to lie about it, you need to find out why. Exactly. So you want me to blow your mind real quick? Go ahead. Because what you said about what you said about the power struggle. Mm-hmm. There is a power struggle back in the day with the priest and the pulpit. Oh. The reason the pulpit was such a great idea was when you come in the pulpit and you tell the pastor. Say, hey, I'm having sex with somebody in the church and you're in a mm-hmm. relationship. A confessional? Or confessionals mm-hmm. or whatever the case. I'm a, a, a lesbian. I'm gay. I'm this, that, and the third. Ooh. What the pastor would do is the next week. Next sermon, it's you, baby. Or the week, a- week after he that. He talking straight to you. He talking straight to you. Listen, I've been to church a couple of times and I've been sitting in the church like, bitch, I'm sweating. Hold on, pastor. Hell no, you talking too much. I'm not feeling it. I need to go home. <laughs> you understand? I'm when I start you. crying, no, I need to go home, girl. It's so like, much wait. levels to this thing. Like priests, the the priest before was allowed to. You know, I'm giving you my content for. Pa- Listen, man, tune sh- tune in to partially ignorant. No, But you're right, though. You're right because it does happen a lot where you come to the pastor in faith, in confidence, and next sermon. Today's word, man. Open up the book, flip through, and you know he got he got his shit planned. He's like a teacher. They study their shit. They know what they're talking about. They got their they're notes. Not, they're not gonna do it right away. Mm-hmm. They're gonna talk I'm about saying? some other shit. They're gonna sing some songs right. and vibe. When it's towards the end, when people start getting comfortable in the church, I'm leaving. <laughs> Then it's, it's your I got time. a message. Something just hit me. The Lord yes. sent me this message. My keys about to hit up. Right. Here. Somebody in the congregation need to hear this word. Ooh, I, need this <laughs> I word. I feel like today. they over here. I feel like they over there. Shut the fuck up. Ooh. Come Y'all on. Go to hell. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm going straight saying. to hell. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't go to church for a couple of reasons. Mm-hmm. One of them, I am not giving no money to your ass. Oh, first shit. First of all, that Bentley you driving outside? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's my money. I got left and right foot. What's up? I do believe in giving back, but it doesn't have to I'm be no, no, no. So I can't church. get back to the homeless. Hold on. Y'all don't believe in paying tides? Not, yeah. to, not to the church. Not to the Ooh. church. Not to the church. Because I know so exactly you where it's going. paying tides and if you're not giving it to the church? The same thing that the, the same thing the, the, the Bible tells you about the Ten Commandments mm. is something that was already built in us as human beings. The Bible is written by men. It's not written by God. Mm-hmm. So when they tell you, thou shalt not kill, that's a common sense thing, mm-hmm. right? You thou shalt should, not steal. That that's shit. not yours. So why are you taking it? But you hold get what on. I'm saying? What about an eye for an eye? But that's what I'm trying to tell you. The Bible was written by men. So men is going to put their intentions in there. If you hit me, what is your uh, uh, automatic reaction you want to do? Cock back. What's and hit, hit me back. Mm-hmm. So that's where eye for an eye comes comes into play. If you go and you Google uh, um, the Bible contradictions or things like that, you'll see so much contradictions. It'll tell you an eye for an eye. Yeah. But then it'll tell you thou shalt not kill at the mm-hmm. same time. I feel like that's based on New Testament and Old Testament. Because but why, like why are you changing the Testaments? <laughs> if t- it's changing if, with the times. If you're telling me that it's written in stone, it should be uh, going with the times, but it don't. That's the problem. So you feel like it should all just be one thing? Like you feel no, like no, 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 no. It needs to be updated. It's 2000. Bible? Everything needs to be updated. It's 2018. It's so much things where the where where uh, um uh, developing and and discovering. Are you serious? Like, come on. How is the Bible and, and stuff like that the same? Because it is a moral law. Basically, over time, <laughs> these things should be the same, right? As far as moral structure goes, morals should never change. Do you agree with that? Yeah. No. No? So no. Situate us down. Pee. 
And wrap up the show if you go wrap up the show. Yeah. No, we still got stuff to talk about. But Paul is no. trying to get all of this out. <laughs> no. No, we're going to have a part two because we have way more things to talk about. I got to go edit. <laughs> you trying to go back to work. I ain't got no more weed. I need some weed. Jesus. I don't got no more rum. I need all more this rum. rum. All this rum. Kuya! Carnival is next weekend, guys. I'm excited. Shout, well, actually, shout, by the time this Rico, airs, it's this R4P weekend. P in the building. Shout out to me. All right, come on. Come okay, on. shout out to so, Kingdom no, Studios. No, no, no. On the subject of Sorry. morals, though, we're, we're talking about morals. You don't feel like morals are, like, the core value of a person. What's your definition of morals? Okay. Things that are right and wrong, like right versus wrong. My opinion, right versus wrong. Now... The same thing like you said, the things in the Ten Commandment, that should not steal, that should not kill. Some people Some think like slavery you. is right. That's what I'm saying. Kanye. Like it, it, okay, wait. Hold on. What aspect of slavery, though? I mean, it depends. You got to ask them, the people that think it's right. I think no form of slavery was right because these people was not, uh, uh, they didn't volunteer okay. for this service. You okay. took them against their will. Okay. Right. So you don't feel like at any point in that that they were able to get away from it? How? You're in a foreign land on foreign territory anywhere you go. You understand what I'm saying? You are you're, you're outnumbered. Mm-hmm. So where are you going to go? So they just succumb to slavery right. because of that. Right. And and the thing about it is it's it's our own people that that, I was that gonna sold get us there. into get there. to slavery, so it was so so much easier for them to take us. If we stand tall and said, "No, you're not taking that one of us," it would have been different because they're on our turf. Mm-hmm. You get so what I'm saying? Doesn't that in turn make it a choice then? Because somebody, some no, what? that's not a choice because our people pretty much kidnapped us. Yes. So that wasn't my choice to be kidnapped by you. It was our people's choice. So me and you were in cahoots, right? Mm-hmm. You hired me to go kidnap it's our, Shay. It's our Actually, people. no, we're going to do it the other way because <laughs> I'm light-skinned. <laughs> <laughs> so you you get Shay, the white man. You get Shay to come, ki- come mm-hmm. kidnap me and put me to work, right? Mm-hmm. Me and Shay are family. So wouldn't that be us as a unit then? She just it's- betrayed us. That's all it was. She just betrayed the camp. You know what I mean? Fuck y'all. That's what it was. <laughs> But it was not a choice. Like, nothing about slavery was a choice. Please tell it again. Kanye you don't know shit. We don't speak that name over here. Sorry. Period. That's it. Yeah. Slavery was not a choice. Okay. Do you feel like... How do you feel about indentured sa- um, service? Like, people who get paid, like, the bare minimum to do, basically, slavery work. You yeah, keep in the house. Keep it depends on where you're from. It depends on where you live. It depends on where you're from. It depends on where your circumstances is. If, if you're in a third world country, jobs is hard to come by. So you take what you can get to provide for your family. True. But if you're in America, that is even, even, slavery. Even, if, okay. even in the hood hood, you can find a way to make something shake. Mm-hmm. Right? You got a handyman. You can get a, a little, like speaking for experience, you can get a little camera and start doing $100 videos and yeah. and make something happen. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Shouts out to Rico on my live right now. Rico gave me an opportunity at a time where I was doing my thing, but he could have he could have gave somebody else the doing opportunity. Doing what thing? I, it's shooting, <laughs> filming. Um, I, I he he chose me to shoot his music video. A, a young kid, you know, coming up, f- flew me out to Antigua, and you know, what I'm saying, took care of me. I shot his video, like. You can make things happen for yourself in, in the United States of America because there's so much more opportunities than you can in Jamaica, in, in Easy Haiti, now. Easy. In, in, in stuff like that. Jamaica, it's the truth. Jamaica is not a real third world country. <laughs> I'm not saying Jamaica is a third world country. I was just saying in mm-hmm. certain countries, in certain places, it's just, it's, it's very difficult. You know, it's very difficult. I feel you. Can I just go completely left field? And, and then, and sorry, and then the the government it. in the the government in these islands rip the people off from the islands and sell off the islands to the foreigners. You get what I'm saying? So it's like the people can't even grow. You're not even helping the people grow. When the Chinese people come and want oh, a piece Jesus. of the land, 
right? You sell it quicker to the Chinese person than you would a native of that mm. island. That's of that just country. internal racism, though, because people feel like the Chinese man is going to do better with the land. He's not going to promote no ignorance. He's not going to have no slackness carrying on no, the land. No, you're free of that man. You're free of that. Whatever the case, they what, the Chinese man or your people? You're free of the Chinese man. Oh. They own our debt. Yeah, well, you're afraid of the China one. You fear, or, or or just someone else other than your kind. You would rather praise them and p- uplift them than you would your own. That's just that's just how I feel about that. Situation. That's why them bleach. I mean, <laughs> we're not going back to this. I feel like I talk about bleaching like every. I need no, honestly, honestly. If you don't know somebody with bleach. I need them to come talk to me. No, y'all are laughing. I'm so serious. I really want to know the mentality behind this process because mm-hmm. go down to the hair store. There's like a, a, a but are they like, open to talk about? I'm pretty it, sure because they're they're trying to sell that bitch. Oh well, see that. Well, find one for me because I I don't you know real hair don't care. I don't know about that. But they don't really sell hair. In the- seriously though, I I really want to know the the science behind that because you're right. There is a lot of uplifting of people that are not of our race in a lot of these countries. Not just Jamaica. Not even just. America, because that shit happens here too. They put. I, mean, I could see if I was talking about this. Trust me, it's just. <laughs> is your mom okay? See, I'm here talking to people on my live, but <laughs> someone says their mom bleached. But is she open to talk about it though? Is she confident in her bleaching? Is she's gonna come out and How say bad I did bleach? She bleach? Cool. Most people is gonna say, "Oh, I bleach because me I try to fix up my skin and yeah, you but know, you was black like is. Black. You you like was, a black spot right there, so uh-huh. some try bleach Red, everywhere. Red. <laughs> <laughs> you as black as me, and now you look like JB. And the listen, fuck? honestly, I kind of bleach one time, but not really. No, no, no. Listen, Boy. listen, listen. Bleach and cream. I knew you was darker back in the day. <laughs> honestly, I was like your color back in the day. Don't try me. I came to Florida and got darker. I had. I had retin-A micro. Y'all about to go buy this shit off the shelves now. You have to get a prescription for that. But I had some dark spots because I was a little boy when I was in Jamaica. And my foot, them did chamba chamba bad. And my mom was like, you're a little girl. This is not happening. You need to go get these spots off your legs. And you know what I'm saying? She got me some retin-A micro and I had to rub it on my foot two times a day <laughs> to make sure that the dark spot went away because she was not mm-hmm. having it. So that's one thing but as far as the whole everywhere else so i've always wanted to be darker i'm not i don't understand the, the black obsession the berry, with the being light skin or white so i don't dark mm-hmm. chocolate i don't subscribe is the best to that chocolate. i can understand i can understand because you know kids kids is harsh and i know in school kids was very 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 harsh against like dark skin skinned girls, girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody told me it was, I hate when people say, "Oh, you're so pretty for, for a dark skin." That's so she can suck my dick. Listen, I've heard you're so pretty for a black girl, and I'm just like, "What, huh, bitch? What? Don't make me sound racist, but black people look good. But what, what white all y'all looks white good? people look the same." I have a friend that said that. He literally said all white people look the same. It's they just do. different hair color or eye color, and I was like, "It is true." Damn, Daniel. <laughs> So anyway, since I done asked all my questions, um, and Shay got her one question Hell off. Hell no, ain't no way y'all got about 50 million questions left. We got oh, one I question. Have- we got one question left that, um, yeah, you, mm-hmm. Because <laughs> I want to know why. Well, there's, ask your question then. Ask your question. Since we're going left field. Oh my God, we was having such grown, mature conversation. Yes, now we're going to go back into the raunchy oh shit. Oh my God. Now y'all know that she, well, anybody that follows her on um, <laughs> Instagram. Pointless, Instagram Pointless Talks. Pointless Talks and with on three Snapchat. Um, She just bought like three packs of lube. <laughs> oh, I like this conversation. Okay. <laughs> oh, so because you like it, we can have it. She just thought about what KY Jelly and some other shit. Listen, okay. Now, now do all these that's what I'm CBS trying to figure out. had a sale for seventy five percent. I'm not off. buying lube if they on sale. Well, it was on sale because they probably just didn't sell it. But I checked the expiration date. They don't expire for the next two years. They might be going well before. So you just buying stuff that's on sale? Yes. Yeah, what you gonna do me. with the lube? Hold on there. Because I know, there. no, no, stop. Because I know your butt's a virgin. <laughs> my god my god so my god is what it, do you consider it, a virgin it has been penetrated by what by penis oh well see then that's where you have the conversation i um you know i enjoy a little anal play sometimes i have a pretty jewel so butt plug. You, is the lube for that to lube up your yes because the pump pump okay. wet what do you mean you don't need no extra lube no no little extra water or nothing oh, yeah. so that's what you bought the lube for good. <laughs> yes so you bought the lube to rub it around your a-hole so you can just lube <laughs> Yes. Okay. I just want to clarify. And you, I'm know, a, and you bought three. 
It was on clearance. <laughs> it was 75% so you going to all three of them like on three separate days? Okay, well, listen, right? One of the ones that I bought, right? It was like the little packet. So it's like the personal use. Like once at a time, it's not like you got to open the bottle and it gets messy. The bottle gets slippery and shit. And that is the nasty. Hand. But, you know, they have the little packet. So you just use one time and done. Right? You don't have to worry about messing up nothing else. Because I have to clean all my bottles off after I have sex. Like I have toy cleaner and shit. Make sure everything's clean because you store it. Gross. Anyways. So, right? Then the other one now, it's like a... It's a massage oil and a lube. So it's like a two-in-one type of thing if you want to get sensual with it. And you Don't wanna touch do. me. You're single. So, yeah. you, and you're yeah. an asshole. So <laughs> there's that. You Any rub downs lead to sex. I don't care what nobody says. I was kind of... Or head. Mm. No. I told you. The guy, he only gave me head. Continue sex. with your lube. So then through. there's like... there was I was so mad the warming one wasn't on sale. Because I, I, that's the one I like. Because lube is cold. Like... Imagine you in the the moment and it's hot and you just sprinkle it like <laughs> exactly <laughs> like now unless you're into temperature play which is a whole nother fuck out of I get cold as it <laughs> no ice you don't want no hot wax dripping on your See, back no no hot the what <laughs> you fucking crazy <laughs> they have wax that turns into lotion and you I can don't s- give a shit <laughs> thank <laughs> you this said it's a fire hazard <laughs> um no hot wax pan nobody okay. no lube either like. I've only no no no. no? Oh, I tried lube once. I wasn't really into it. Lube where? Shit. I don't fucking remember. Oh. Oh, no, you don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, listen, suddenly listen, you got amnesia. Listen, my, I don't remember where it was used. I have a vagina. Oh. And I have a mouth. Oh. If it needs to be wet, you stick it in vagina or I suck your dick. You're not using lube with me. Oh. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Right. How do you feel? Let's say you in the, you're in the throes of passion, right? Jesus Christ. You're having sex, and he spits on your vagina. How do you feel about that? That's fine. Go ahead. Really? Why not? I know, no, because I know some people who feel like it's disrespectful, like, to just, like, literally just spit on the vagina. You spitting on the vagina, you about to do something to it. Just don't spit on it and leave it, though. <laughs> what the fuck? How do you feel about people spitting in your mouth? I will beat this <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? Did it, what's it called? Prophet do that to people. What? He spits in people's mouths? <laughs> he told us oh, that he spit in a girl. Ma- Listen, mm. I wish the fuck you would. Damn, I wish he was I here. Would. I wish Because I want to know you. if he's down for snowballing. What the fuck is snowballing? When you, like, the guy comes and she spits the cup that in his That is disgusting. <laughs> Yo. I bow out gracefully. <laughs> gracefully. Hey, <laughs> Jamie has been no silent lie. this whole time. That is oh. nasty. Nobody's spitting in my mouth. I'm not snowball- snowballing shit. Nah, I'm straight. All right, you sucking toes? No, I get my toes sucked. You eating ass? Fuck no. Damn. What are you doing? Just sucking dick? It's 2018, hey, hey, shit. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. First of all, first of all, <laughs> just sucking dick, that's a high stature, okay? Bitch, she's been sucking she, dick no, since. No, 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 no. Hey, it's you different. learn, and it's different tricks, different. different people. Fuck out of here. you're willing to do it, you want to do it, you, you enjoy into that shit. You, you, you initiate it, it's different. So all that's right. like 80%. So, so you sucking dick with mints? Did I suck dick with pop rocks? But ice, the pop rocks, pop, the sexual pop rocks, the ice. The oh, door. you said sexual pop rocks? They have sexual. Yeah, it's a I'm, so, I'm such door. a virgin. Oh, really? Yes. I I heard about pop rocks on the vagina, like when the guys the giving fuck, you head, you're not doing I, that to me. Damn. You so shit. No, See, I don't. Like no, no, listen. To listen, do listen there's different. There's difference. Your pee hole is like mm-hmm. small as shit. For the guys that don't know. For the guy, <laughs> when you're giving head with pop rocks, it doesn't go in anywhere. When you're doing with the vagina, that shit goes in. It can end up. Because he don't know what he's doing. Okay, well, I haven't experienced it with the pop rock on my vagina. I don't plan on it. It might and be awesome. It's like glitter on your pom pom. I don't care about all that. Don't care. Uh, um, the person that gives me head does perfect job. All right, Damn. guys. Big yeah. up yourself, my friend. Big up yourself. He's perfectly fine at what he does. <laughs> All the different tricks every fucking time. Damn. Okay, wait, hold on. I asked her. Are you into any of these things we previously mentioned? Are you using lube and pop rocks and on the girl? Lube and et cetera. Well, who else are you? <laughs> are you doing it on the guy? No, I'm saying that she's doing it on me. Like, what? No. She I, said what? Uh, 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 pop rocks. I never did a pop rocks thing. Go to the sex store. Uh, I'll, I'll try that. Rocks. I'm willing to try that. You sucking toes? Uh, no. 
Not that really wasn't that. that wasn't a definite though. I'm not really into that. Let me that. tell you something. You suck. You sound very clean, Listen. and I don't know if you're washing your foot good. Go make her wash your foot, them. <laughs> like um, for me, like every time I take, every time I have sex for for some reason, I just like to take a shower. Right before or after? Uh, before and after. Oh. Okay, but, you definitely but, have to take a shower after. Yeah, definitely. But, but before I need to take a shower, I want to make sure I'm clean. I smell good. Okay. For her. Some I'm, people I'm, like sweat. I'm though. Right. No. Yeah, I like sweat like when it builds up while I'm fucking. Yeah, while exactly. I'm fucking. Exactly. While I'm fucking. You're looking at sweat off of him. I don't want to smell musk. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't want to mess. Smell Not musk. if you outside and you in the sun for four hours. and You talking about coming here? Nah, fuck that. That's the showers are good. No, we can fuck in the shower for all I give a shit as long as you washing something. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh. I like, I like. I need you getting your ass in the shower. So, hey. like, but like I was gonna say, if wash the girl toes, whatever the case may be. <laughs> if you're stroking, like missionary style, her foot is in the air. And you suck her toes. I guarantee she come hard as fuck. Say that. Yeah, I, I, I think I did that before. A girl said I did that before she came. A girl said you did that before. Yeah. You don't remember. And, <laughs> you, know, and, you remember and, what he and, did? He was drunk. He was drunk. He was high. And 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 to backtrack a little bit to what I was saying. Taking a shower and smelling good from the shower is different from masking your vagina Uh-oh. smell with the little spray y'all be using. Or baby wipes. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. On that subject, ladies, please don't douche. Just douche in your ass. More time. In your ass. Yeah, yeah, if you're about to get butt sex. Do not douche your vagina. Okay? That's nasty. The vagina is a self-cleaning organ. That doesn't mean you shouldn't wash your pom-pom, <laughs> but do not use juice. Like, the shit that you buy in the store with the it vinegar and water and all that. Balance. Yes, it does. And y'all be doing... Yeah. Yo. If you want cleanse, get some warm water, get some apple cider, put that bitch in that in the damn tub for like three. That even 30 sounds minutes. like too much for me. Like, it's really uh, not. You just sit, it's like a regular bath. Stop using Bath Body Works and Victoria's Secret body washes on y'all pump. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That you shit, know what I was talking about. Fuck? See, you That's know the name of it. it. Unscented you. soaps. You know yes, the name of it. I didn't know the name. All of that fucks you up. It gives you UTIs. It gives you yeast infections. All that, that feels, fun really shit. Feels like nothing. don't. Don't use that. Me personally, drink your cranberry juice. Yes, don't don't believe them. Not, it's not pineapple for the pom pom. Sorry, die die. But it is cranberry for the pom pom. Cranberry is your best friend. Okay. At the end of the day, cranberry. All of y'all, when y'all go into feminine care, I, I work in a pharmacy. That's why I know. All the shit that you see on the shelf for the pom pom is cranberry pills, cranberry gummies, cranberry this, cranberry that. Cranberry for cranberry the pom pom. Okay. Cranberry. Remember, I'ma tell her no. All right. So, anything else you don't want to say? Keep the pom pom good. Pom pom. No, happy healthy pom pom. Oh, you just done talking about Cranberry for the pump pump. See there. All right. So, we're going to wrap this up. This is a fun conversation. Anything y'all want to plug before we get out of here? Light skin records look really, really tired. Shadow T on Saturdays. Yeah. 7.30. Fuck partially ignorant. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say that. Um, And yeah, I better start your your show on time because I will cut y'all off. I'm just saying. Okay. Mm. Biz, you heard that? All right. Snoring on the mic. Did you better stop before you hit your head like Chinks, boy? <laughs> Dang, Chinks was watching us. Shout out to Chinks. Chinks is out here eating good life. I am not talking. Listen, about shout out to Chinks. Um, I want to be like Chinks when I grow up. Bitch, I want what he eating right now. <laughs> good. You don't have nothing to plug over there. Um, follow lyrical content mm. at lyrical content on IG. Follow Kingdom Studios. Um, FTL. Follow Fly Fair Nation. Follow Kingdom Studio FTL on IG. Um, SoundCloud lyrical content and partially ignorant and on well, my episode well. drop Shadow T on SoundCloud. Shadow T is about to drop on 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 SoundCloud as well. And um, thank you for tuning in to Pointless T Shadow me? Talk. <laughs> Wait, then. Hold on, then. hold on. Not your show. <laughs> have a good night. We, we have about three different endings on this because I'm cutting all that out. But. <laughs> You know, thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for coming out. This is a Wednesday show, but it's technically Shay show. It's not my show. Um, as always, every week, you know, thank you for listening. If you got here by purse, what was it? How I say it? Oh, Damn, I've been here. drinking oh, shit. Fly ass outro. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Got here I've been on drinking. purpose or by accident? See, that, you know, it's by fate, not What's accident. Whatever, you don't remember. Because <laughs> she ain't got no face. <laughs> Well, whether you got here or by purpose or by fate, thank you for tuning in. But that's not the part I was supposed to say. It's okay. Close up the show. All right. Sorry. Okay. And we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> Don't forget to follow us on all the social media outlets. It's Pointless Talks <laughs> with three S's. Pointless Talks. Talks. And it is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, <laughs> <laughs> Apple Music, Google Play Music. A whole bunch of other shit, honestly. Um, seriously though, don't forget to follow Fly Fair Nation, Kingdom Studios, Shadow T. 
follow all the podcasts that we got going out is something for everybody out here and just like every other week whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you again for tuning in and we day off cranberry for the pum pum <laughs> <laughs>